Good evening. We are back. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, it might be the last time we play Conan together. Never know. I've no. got more campaigns. But... We'll find out, we'll find out. So, let me just check that the music is not too loud and the audio imbalance is okay and we can see everybody. I think that's all looking good. So, who wants to remind us what happened last time? Who wants to remember what happened last time? Just the short version. No one. Great. <laughs> well, awesome. someone else doing this time. Just briefly. Uh, you don't have to do it from, from first principles. Uh, okay, so Mortaz and Durzo uh, disguised as uh, as soldiers uh, tried to convince uh, one of the main soldiers, uh, real soldiers, that they were uh, uh, coming to give advanced warning of... Uh, of people arriving at that didn't go as well but in the midst of that uh uh Krius and shira were hiding in the uh in kind of the cliff uh we uh saw a messenger go back to this main tent uh uh Krius thought it would be, be a good idea to shoot down the bird and <laughs> and it worked. And the bird fell and as that was going on I decided, uh, or Shira decided to go out on her own and go to the tent. Uh, in the confusion of everything going on and the bird falling down uh, Durzo and uh, uh, Durzo and Mortaz were able to kind of just walk into the chaos uh, and almost disguise themselves because everybody was worried about the bird and Shira just happened to sneak around the tent, uh, get out a knife, open up the side of the tent, get in, happened to find Hecret and promptly killed her pretty much instantly with the Kate with the Kato apples uh, and the poison that was on the Kato apples, and so she died immediately. Um, and she snuck out, and we all oh, and we found Tura. Uh, Krius found Tura, who mm -hmm. had uh, gone dug behind out him or dug out tomb. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we all managed to find our way down into the tomb, where. Tura hit us in an area where she had been hiding, uh, very emaciated and hungry, and we fed her, and now we find ourselves with Krius having gone ahead and seen what the temple area looks like, and has come back and reported to us. Yeah, indeed. So I'll just show you again a short picture here of um, Tura, the way she looks now. Don't complain about continuity. She just has so much, lost so much weight as she actually changed her hair color as well. <laughs> and then you had this this little little place uh, where the ritual is taking place. Um, do you want to describe it? Or I'll just show it to everybody today. Um, just go and hide a couple of people because they were not there. Ooh. Yeah, I think you just showed it to me, folk, before. Yeah. And I then described it to the group. I did. We have not uh, seen this. But you can see it. I'm going to show it briefly on the stream as well. So do you want to describe it again or not? It's a roughly circular area. Uh, various nooks and crannies. Uh, but in the centre, there is there was this uh, uh, kind of altar type thing covered with some sort of fabric. Yeah, maybe, black maybe, leather. maybe skin, black skin of some sort. Not really clear. Um, a number of guards all around the side, totaling six. The area is open to the sky, so it's open for some winged beast with a saucer on his back to to fly down, uh, as that's the most likely uh, thing that's going to happen. Mm. Um, yeah. 
and they were kind of preparing the site, weren't they? Yeah. For a ceremony that we we believe is going to happen, I think, at midnight. There were some some slaves being held off by some guards off to the side. I can show you some guards again. I hit them as well. Yeah. But that's basically yes. what you're going to be facing. That's a little bit away. It's a, sh a very short walk. It's like 200 meters or 300 meters from a little hidey hole where you're currently hiding in the ruins. So it's a moment for you to gather. It's a moment for you to maybe share some thoughts, maybe share some plans. Yeah, I think we discussed the fact that the slaves are likely there to be sacrificed. Mm. And whether we do something beforehand to stop their, their demise, or uh, we wait for the, the, the ceremony to start when the sorcerers going to probably fly down. Uh, but then the slaves may get killed as a result. And we were and, discussing that, weren't we? Yeah. And Sh Shira, having been a slave, uh, wants to save the slaves as as best as we can, but realizing that there will be collateral damage. The question is, do you? So if, if we go in now to, if, hmm. if we go in now to save the slaves, then the sorcerer may not appear. Yeah, we have to wait for the right time, don't we? Uh, the question is, can we position ourselves in such a way that we can jump out? Uh, our distances are quite small, aren't they, from the entrance? So Yeah, you basically had to cross a couple of ruined courtyards and a couple of tunnels and you would be there. Was there anywhere safe close by the very entrance to the uh, this ceremony? ceremony okay? Not anything as well really hidden as we currently are. You know, this little side cave, side room that Tura has found and barricaded. Um, she, th she reckons this is very safe unless somebody's really, really, really looking. Um, but anything else, you might find a, a bit of shadow, a bit of shade next to a few rocks or fallen pillars to hide in, but it's not going to be as, as secluded, as safe. Um, there's as a as we are out there, we are sitting ducks for those winged bat creatures. Mm. There's a procession, we believe, that's going to come down past us at some point. Well, we think that the source is going to come from the sky, isn't he? Hmm. That's, that's our thoughts. I'm not sure. Yeah. He could. It's open to the top. Uh, I've given... I've given Mortaz... Uh, or I've given Krius... Uh, one of the remaining vials of the of the yeah. poison, and I have one of the poisons on my fan. Right. Mortas, I think you are carrying the staff, is that right? Yes. Let me just give it to you. Um, there's going to be two copies of it on your character sheet. One of them is if you not use it against normal beings, and the other one if you use it against undead. <clears throat> Just how much time? How much time would it take for me to prepare some of my arrows with poison? Is it? Am I able to kind of like dip and shoot, or is this a case of prepare them beforehand? Um, I would like you to prepare them beforehand. It doesn't take long, but I think in the heat of the moment, yeah, dip and shoot could mm -hmm. be tricky. You could yeah. drop drop the vial or something, which would be yeah. terrible. And it's yeah. pretty poison. It's it's pretty reactive. But it, yes, it pretty much goes immediately. And it will only uh, last, like if you put it on, on the fresh air, basically, it will probably only last a day or so. And how much poison is there? How many arrows could I coat? Um, you had how many doses in total? Three? You used one? Three. Yeah, yeah I've been given one. Right. So, anything else? Or shall we get this show on the road? I was waiting for one of those meaningful scenes, you know, by the campfire where you look into oh, each where other's we're eyes discussing, and say, uh, We have come a long way, my darling friends. We have faced <laughs> many a danger together and we always vanquished it. We had a few then, close calls, but this one, this one is really going to go down to the wire. And is this the finale? Is this it all over once we've actually defeated the sorcerer? Yes, well, you finally have rid the world of Xosoth's soul. 
And yeah. and Chibi, did you discern that the the eye is close by? The eye is close by, but I don't know exactly where it is. But it is close, and I would mm -hmm. imagine that it's probably either in someone's possession or it's possibly inside the altar that you described. I mean, at this point, it has to be at or around the sorcerer's neck, doesn't it? I mean, yes. he needs it to fulfill a ritual, so he's bound yeah. to have it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which means the sorcerer is actually close then as well. So wherever he's waiting, lying in wait, mm. <clears throat> it's close by. He will not be far away. So I've got a little bit of a map focus today, so we're mainly on the map cameras today. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a good reason for that. So anything else? Otherwise, I would say you're going to leave your hidey hole and proceed. Yeah, if we are uh, that. Uh, what is Tura? Uh, I asked Tura, what are you going to do during all of this? <laughs> I will fight. Where what is she? Is she what does she have to fight? She had a, a what is it called? Yeah, a hammer, basically. A matic, matic. I almost said hammer, okay. but it's matic. Hammer is something else. <laughs> and I, I guess I tell her, fight for your father. Fight for his memory. I will. And she looks quite fierce as she sort of picks up her weapon and snarls at you. So she doesn't look any longer like that uh, little girl that we met, no. or relatively. No. Yeah, she has found a new purpose, and she has found she's hardened grit in her. Mm. Not the little young girl we met at all. So you make your way out. I'm going to push you across to the other map. Basically, you're entering from the north of this map. That's where you come out of your little tunnel. I can see map. Yep, so this yep. chamber is, is not the chamber we go into, is it? No, you came out oh. of your chamber there, and this is basically a couple of courtyards you have to cross before you get to this altar place. So this is somewhere else. But pretty much as soon as you step out of there, there's a group of guards who spot you. And say, halt! That's her. I say, it's the gym. And point at uh, Tira. Two, two guards only, yes. There are uh, one of them is a mob of guards. So one of them is basically four, and they've got a leader with them. So it's five guards. Breakfast is, is just a snack for Dozo. Yeah. To wet his appetite. So, what do you think? Are you going to surrender Tura and hope that they don't attack you? I think the leader's going to get an arrow. <laughs> oh, you want to no talk right away? Yeah. Right. How far local. away are they? Um, they are about what is it? One, one zone away, maybe. Yeah. One zone. Okay. One zone. Let me just check whether they actually have any any remote weapons. Uh, did I give a yes? Did you in shot though? There you go. They can shoot as well. Oh, Stygian Shop, I could do with one of them. I lost my one previously. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, loot, no, there's that... walking loot. Yeah. <laughs> they already made out uh, Tira to be the enemy of some sort or they, a spy. Of... They, As they, like they're directly fled. hostile. She was the captive, if you remember. Now, she, yeah. they have said so far, surrender her. Yeah. yeah. So there's sort of a possibility of negotiating. I'm just saying, yeah, of course, yeah, here she I is. I think we are past that. Can I just rush in and take a swing? You can. Um, then, but, let's go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, uh, now this is actually the mob rules. Sorry, the squad rules. Uh, I have actually copied them out just, just so we've got them ready. And the squad rules basically put the, the mob, that's the four of them, together with a leader. Yeah, and it gives them some special special um, tasks or special things they can do. Yeah. So it's essentially you have like a toughened enemy with all the benefits of being in a mob, as in exactly. he gets like five or so dice to attack and shit exactly. like that. 
And um, yeah, on yeah. top of that, you have um, the the normal people, if you like, the mob always take the the hits first before the boss. Yeah, if you want yeah, to target like, the boss, right. it costs yep. you uh, momentum. Yeah, if you want to specifically target the boss, it's going to cost you two momentum. Yeah. No, uh, my main goal is just to you know get those numbers down so they don't attack with five dice. <laughs> and let's try not to use as much momentum now or give doom. Well, I've got enough doom for now, but I'm sure you'll give me more. If I can get shot first, then. Yeah, you can go first. But remember, we, we've got changing initiative. So after you have you go, they have their go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I've got everybody on the map. Yeah. Just covered it over here with my pop out. Okay, so on you go. Then you can uh, aim. There's what's running. If I want to aim at the boss, are you going first, or Martin? Well, if we're swapping initiatives, it's better you go first, then, isn't it? You want to? Oh, yeah. Am I thinking that, yeah? So yeah. You're, yeah. you're charging. Jerusalem is going first, yeah. Four dice? Yeah, for one momentum spent. For one or two? Yeah, yeah. I have two a two. talent which gives me like two dice hmm. per momentum spent. You have to remember <laughs> that. Dazzle's got all the talents. I mean, I have a combat flow chart by now, so, you know. <laughs> uh, it's like the good old MMOs where you just say, first you press one, yeah. then you press two, and then you press three. Yeah. I mean, basically, yeah. are they parrying? Um, minions don't parry. Yeah, but... Uh, like in the mob. They, yeah. they can, because it's a toughened one. Yeah, 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 but if the minions get hit first... Frank, we're giving yeah. you a chance. The minions get hit. So it says, small chance. If, an oh, like, yeah. if you don't want on, to, it's going to one doom and all tough to attack. Oh, no. They don't. I don't. No, go for it. So, four damage. Go away for it. Ooh. Six damage. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. That's not too bad. Oh, not as you normally do. Not, yeah. So, I mean, it's nine. Six. I'll. Uh, use one of my momentum to add vicious to it, so it's um, vicious two. All right, I'm not sure how we can do that. A vicious two means if they get a wound, they get another wound. No, no it just means. Uh, no, it's intense. It's essentially, for each effect, there are like two damage instead of one. Ah, right. X additional damage for the effect. So yeah, that right? means one, two, three damage. extra effect damage. Yeah. Nine okay. damage. Okay. Gosh. Right, so you zoom forward, and basically, if I get this right, you have killed two of them already. So, yes. Wounds two. Hmm. Shouldn't that mean that two of them are down? Uh, what's their vigor? Is their vigor 12? No, their vigor no, is five. No, it's just... Uh... Minions die on a single wound, so... Yeah, so five, as soon as... Yeah, yeah two, two down, down. Two down. Yeah. Two down. But they have... Yeah, it hasn't applied it properly. That's what I'm saying. Request it damage. Okay. It has not done that right. Let me just try that again. I can't. So I have to do it manually. No problem. I've done that before. So you actually charge forward, and two of them... You fell right away. But only two. Yeah, well, I will do the same thing again. <laughs> what? How, do, how are you going to do that? Well, two momentum spent for the secondary attack. Yeah, okay, which is one difficulty harder now, isn't it? Yeah. Combo flowchart. <laughs> Carefully optimized. <laughs> Why do I have two wounds? I don't know. Oh, has it applied to that? It applied has applied to yourself. To the, it applied to you, to you, then. But <laughs> That's why I'm going to win the combat. I specifically targeted <laughs> the guys. We are fighting dirty now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> and wound yourself. He's taken all this time. All this time to get back at you. It's a spell. It's a spell. It reflects all the damage you do onto yourself. <laughs> oh, God, that would be terrible. <laughs> That's he was hoping damage. that you wouldn't notice. No, I was genuinely puzzled because it says wounds too, but it didn't do anything yeah, to yeah, them. I'm, yeah. I'm rereading it. Okay. So, heal yourself. Can I just... This is just a... Uh...
There we go. So, okay. Back to the flowchart. <laughs> you have to share that with us. <laughs> oh, oh, I one left to have an Oh, hour. six successes. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Uh-huh. Six physical damage. So that's now nine physical damage. And you've got all these effects as well. Four effects. So let me try this again. Target. Should be 13 if I didn't miscalculate. Let's have a look. It says nine vigor, four effects. Select the targets. Digian soldier. So let's see. Apply. It has wounded you again, has it? No. Uh, no. Death swarm. No. It says death swarm. Yeah. So. Yeah, because there's one wound here. Yeah. One yeah, is one still wound, yeah. But they've got it, armor three. But intense hmm. surely kills a second. No, intense doesn't. No, itself. intense just means if I cause one wound, I automatically cause yeah. another wound. Yeah. Because yeah. because only take one wound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. gosh. It's only one of them left. Only one of them left. Now it's their turn, though. And the leader. And the well, leader. Now the leader is they in the. Together. Yeah. In the oh, okay. Yeah. So it's basically the leader can attack, and the others are all uh, assisting him. Spillover damage. But they're not because they're dead. So. Well, only one of them is assisting him. So he's going to do. Three, three dead so far. Yeah. Three so, more. Yes. Yes. Three deaths already. But luckily, luckily, there's no plan. It's a good so, thing there's no morale check. How are there three that... You killed two, then you killed one, yeah? So, yeah. yeah? Yeah. I didn't catch what you were saying there, Julian. No, it should be an even number, because if I cause one wound, I automatically cause a second wound. Yes. So if I killed two in the first attack, I should have also killed two in the second attack. You know what I mean? Yeah, you probably didn't kill two in the first attack then, but let's just leave it as it is. Because I think that because it wasn't applied automatically, I probably didn't calculate the armor right. Yeah, when I did uh, the first killings, I thought they had an armor of two, but they actually had armor of three. Yeah, yeah, but I cost way yeah, I more than... I think the eight. extra wound doesn't help to the next person. I don't think so. Try that suddenly does in mobs, but okay. anyway, let's leave it. There's one of them left. There you go. You've got to give them a small chance, have we, Julian? I'm giving you some doom. Oh dear, that's rubbish. Look, 19, 19, 16, 20. <laughs> you got to get a repost anyway now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I was thinking the flowchart's going right back so that that I'm one's pairing that one, obviously. <laughs> you are as well. You are. All right. And yeah, I'll do. And the normally, repost. Perry would give me Doom, but you've got some talent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. The first one is free. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I even try? <laughs> Why do you even bother? <laughs> I mean, I had another uh, squad standing by, and I, I will bring them out because. There are still people um, yeah. Yeah, who are not Erzo. So yeah. there's actually another squad appearing here. But I think with that damage, you're going to take them down, aren't you? Should be. Yeah. So. But um, the other one as well. Yes. So, Derzo, with one round of attacks, you can't kill five people. Welcome to Conan, guys. Welcome to Conan. <laughs> yeah. That's how he rolls. <laughs> but it's not your, your turn anymore, is it? So it's their turn. So what they're No, he was there going there. He was no, there it was going. a repost. Was yeah, it was a repost, but it's yeah. the other. Yeah. So now it's... One of yeah, yours. So now it's... Martin. One of you. Okay. You can choose. So I'm Curious. going to shoot... The uh, that group then. Okay, I'm looking forward to a new bow. Uh, so, what is my name? I don't want to diminish your glorious uh, hack and slay here, but oh. 
Out of 20. Ooh. Yeah, complication. Hmm, I might just take a couple of Doom. I need more Doom again. Hey, so in that case then, I generated two momentum. Uh, I will want my damage. That's not so much. I get to re-roll. And then I will spend one momentum to re-roll all of them. Okay. Oh, I can't re I can only re-roll once, can't I? Hmm. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. sure you can yeah. do a reroll with momentum and with your talent. I think you have oh, okay. to it's either or. Yeah. But okay. so I'm not certain damage. on that one. It's only four damage, I and therefore I'll, I'll use the one momentum I generated and the spare momentum to get a second shot. Okay, so, second attack, right? Attack at one difficulty higher. So first one, yeah, that seems to have gone right. Yes. Second attack. Okay, so that's successful and damage for the second attack. Ooh. Slightly. Worse. So let, let me do my two where you are. Slightly the same, now slightly better now. Slightly but I have better. armor. So let's see what happens. Apply damage. Four effects, not bad. Not very good. Yeah. One down. That's good. One down. Right, goes back to them. Mm -hmm. Now they are going to attack you, one of you. Who oh, that shall I attack? Not Durzo. They're scared of him. <laughs> so, one, two, or three. I'm not Tira. Tira is too, uh, she's to be secured. So, it's Shira who gets it. They must have just seen Durzo run forward, go, and they've got. Okay, we'll pass on that. Don't fancy that. <laughs> okay, this way. Yeah, so they're going to have a go at you there. Is that right? Why is nobody of them dead? One of them should have... Ah, I killed this, the toughness guy for some reason. That's not right. So let me change that over. See, he's not dead. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Something is going wrong today with the, with the targeting. So he's still healthy. And he's going to attack with all the assists. And his bow. Right. Where was I? Stitchy and shot bow. Attack. And he gets... Three extras. Give me a moment. Yeah. Because he's also showing us having wounds. So he's got minus and he shouldn't be wounded. So I was just singing the praise of the system as well. So maybe it's just me doing something wrong. So here we go. Yeah, the 20 note again. Three successes on Shira. You can try and dodge or parry. No. No? No. Okay. You sure? You're standing your woman. I don't think that I can I don't think that I can dodge and then take my attack, can I? Of course you yeah. can. You can. You okay, can so I will dodge, dodge as a reactionary, yeah. Okay, so I will it's dodge. Do if you don't have a talent for it, it gives me doom, but that's it. Um don't, well, I don't have a talent for dodge. Uh, dodge so what do please. I roll? Let me. Oh, it's a it's a skill. I think it's uh, evade. Acrobatic should be. Oh, yeah. it's evade. Yes. Chris. And Ooh. you would need to. So uh, yeah, you need to meet uh, beat his momentum with it. Dun dun dun. Sorry, it must be. It must be. It's it must parry. be. It's parry. It's parry. No, yeah, not, not on a, No, it's not parry. parry. Uh, uh, an I need a skill to parry. Shield. Yeah. Yeah, you need a skill. No, I'm, do I'm you dodging. You get only one reaction per turn, do you? All right, so yeah. you can either 
dodge or if you have a skill to parry arrows and stuff? I no, think. no, no. I don't have I don't have parry at all. But I'm just looking. Is it ac- is it acrobatics? It's acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was your base? Too many games. And have a look. You said the difficulty is what two? Well, you have to. Yeah, he's got three successes. Is one, but you need to generate uh, two momentum. Yeah. You need three successes, don't you? To yeah, basically. Match. Essentially, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Three successes. So there's plenty of momentum there if you think you could do it. Oh, two but successes. Hmm. After 19 sessions, you think I would know what happens because a remote attack, a uh, ranged attack, needs two successes. You have negated two, um, so he's only got one left. Oh, what do you need? But I think that's not how it works. You need to beat his momentum, don't you? Yeah. It, it depends on the, the range of... Uh, it's normal range. It's, it's short uh, for short. Bow. It's normal range, yeah. Because I can use my whip against him. So I think I'm just going to say that's going to hit you. Yeah. So... Uh, what's the yes, damage bow? I will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where he dodged it. So, that's not so bad. Oh, not wow. so bad. Hardly hurts you at all. I think you had a Stygian bow. I do. It's Stygian really shot bow. That's what it says. It's the rules episode. Hopefully not. That would not be very exciting. So you've got for the bit final. Of That's all. So what do I take? Two. You've done all. Should have happened already. Actually, Vigor one. Only yeah. one. A scratch. Yeah. Tis by a scratch. scratch. It is by scratch. Gives. Okay. So on we go. So I guess it's my turn. One of you. Are you? Go did ahead. you go? Yeah, no. I shot. I shot. All right. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to grab one. Bring them close. And their difficulty. Just normal. So momentum one. Now they don't evade now, but how do I do that? I don't really want to split one out. <sighs> but I guess I have to. So there you go. You've brought him close, yeah? Is that yeah. the idea of the grappling? Yeah. And your damage is three? Yeah. Right, all right, all right. Oh, dear. So with a crack of the whip, describe it a bit. Come on. Let's see a little bit. Of um. So I just I, I just whip. I, I grab him around, and I pull him uh, as close as I can. Mm-hmm. So I was hoping that he'd be a little bit closer. Well, he's basically he's not engaged with you, okay. but he's in close. So, he's in the same zone. Uh, so I would like to uh, use a second attack with uh, a different weapon, like a dual attack. So mm-hmm. I'd like to stab him. Right. So your second attack needs to spend momentum on that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's going to be one harder. Okay. Successes that would be good enough, so you it's can do not your damage. Momentum away, is it? Yeah. yeah, the but momentum some... didn't go down. Then. Pardon me, the momentum didn't drop when you did the second attack. Should drop. Uh, do you want me to do that manually? Yeah, I don't think it's automatically taking the momentum off when you when you. Yeah. I don't know, I've never attacked twice. That's only Dazzle yeah. who does that. It's two momentum for second attack. <laughs> it is, it is. 
So just yeah, do it manually. Um, you basically pull him close with a whip, and it mm. goes around his neck, and you pull him, and he basically straight in front of you on his knees, mm. and you run your what is it, a knife through him? Yeah, uh, my dagger, my dagger through his neck. Is this is a dagger I'm sp- trying to swallow, mm. and with that, with a croak, he falls beneath uh, in front of you on his feet. No, on your feet. Yeah, on my feet. On your feet. At your feet. My shoes. My shoes are very uh, bloody. And you probably snarl at them or shout something or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. So they are out of action. So it's you guys, uh, Mortas. Uh, can I steely glare the group? <laughs> you can try and steely glare <laughs> them. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, just uh, and say we have defeated beasts and armies much larger than this. You stand no chance against us. You're probably right. just uh, just point them at them. Yeah, especially with Durza. <laughs> I'm gonna do a resolve against that in a minute. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, nice. And I've got one success, but still enough. So they take some, uh, resolve damage. Well, basically, the way I'm gonna do that is they are going to seize initiative going to take one away one doom and running away you can try and shoot after them if you want to I think I roll dice for Er. yeah yeah you can do that there you go five metal damage I can get shot in as they flee I will happily do so come back with my bow Oh, yeah, you get one more. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's no point rolling lots of dice here. I'm going to do this narratively. You just get one more. Yeah. And then they run away. Whoa. It's the dervish. It's the beast of the desert who's come to slay us all. <laughs> so they're running off to the side. Now your, your quarry lies down south. That's where you have to go. Hmm. And there are side passages out of here as well. Then. There are a couple of other passages around here. We've got to be careful. We could have something coming from the line. Yeah, move, move, move on. So I'm going to finish that combat. I haven't even begun it. <laughs> Never had the chance to. So you're making your way back through the ruins, and you can hear from the distance already. There's some sort of singing going on. So I'm going to change here now to the other scene. This one here. Um, I don't think you've got tokens on this one yet, have you? No. So let me just set it all up so you can see it properly. And you're coming in from the south here. Yep. So group, we've got cryers. There are very faint lines on the back um, background. So that's basically supposed to be zones. Mm-hmm. The um, circle is divided into four, by the way. Yes. So there's a circle in the middle. Yeah, which you can't see because mm-hmm. the line is exactly on the on the graphic. And then mm-hmm. there's an outer circle, and then there's four quarters around. And there's some guards standing there, and we've got this guy standing here. We've got this guy who I'm going to show you for a moment. Where's Tura? Tura, she can be with you. She's behind you as well. Oh, we have a new follower. Oh, okay. Hello, Taurus Shooter. Nice to see you. Um, Tura, Tura, Tura. It's just because she's in a different folder to you guys. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know if she had run off. Why can't I find her? Because she's run off? No, no, she hasn't run off. She's with you. There she is. Yeah. There she is. So, um, yeah, let me let me get this uh, scene ready here. Pop that out so it's not overlaying the scene. So, we are now in the final scene, hopefully. Probably. As you approach the ritual site, you can hear already the singing going on. There's some chanting in Stygian. Um... Somebody speaks Stygian, and we've got a linguist here, so I'm just going to read it out. 
Yeah. Yep. So I think two people. Two. There's yeah. someone else. Yeah, you've got linguistics, and Durzo has got Stygian as well, and yeah. um, Tura ben, uh, speaks it as well. So I name myself Serothos, and I'm going to show you the little uh, graphic for that as well. Oh my! That's what's going on. This is actually from the book. This graphic. Um, mm. And as the master of the Black Ring, the High Priest of the Great Serpent Set, it is my will that this gem be a prison no more. He holds in his hand the eye, you know? The gate between life and death be opened to me. What spirit has uh, that inhabited this ancient flesh will be allowed to return to this world from the next and be restored fully to it. And with that, he stands at the head of this black stone that you saw before, upon which lies the body of an alabaster skinned, it says here, it doesn't look so on the graphic, um, man wounds plenty upon parts of his bodies, uh, so lots of small cuts. Uh, he's dressed in stitching finery, and his eyes are open, if insensate, so they don't actually focus on anything yet. Kneeling around the ritual space in a white circle, um, are eight stygian women, slaves clad only in loincloths and ceremonial jewelry. You can imagine Frank Rosetta um, illustrations for that. Hands resting with bronze basins filled with blood. Their heads are down, and from the utter stillness and slack of their bodies, each is undoubtedly dead. <sighs> the eye of Acheron pulses one more, once more, brightly, and shatters, causing the sorcerer to drop it, wincing and pulling his hand back in pain. His dagger clatters to the gravel below his feet, and the artifact lands upon the bias, smoking as if blasted by lightning. A black radiance, that's the little graphics effect on the map, mm. um, emerges from it, floating around this body that's lying there. And a moment later, it enters through the man's chest, passing through flesh as if it were a sieve. The white skin mm. man's eyes suddenly gleam with light, and his chest shudders, a great racking breath being pulled in. <gasps> At this point, you hear behind you, to the south, uh, shouts and the rattle of chariot wheels. The army that was coming towards this camp has arrived. Well, oh dear, so you know you got, the, you got an army to defeat. You've got a whole army in your back, and you can see that Serothos's guards are actually trying to fight them. And at the same time, oh. you see from the side of the well, canyon where you were, remember there was a raised area, you see, um, what was his name? Hakuf, wasn't it? Hakuf's <clears throat> troops zooming down and uh, trying to intercept these people coming in to, to basically um, give you some time. And he sort of gestures at you and say, do what you came to do. Turns around and charges into the enemies. So. There's a... <clears throat> Is this all... Uh, that we see enemy wise in this chamber at this moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are two squads of guards. There is this guy mm -hmm. being, um, yeah, revived, and there's this big saucer in the middle. He says, Is that all? Come on, but you have a whole army at your back, and they're not Serothus, <laughs> Serothus, however you say that, man, men, men. Mm. So you've got a short moment, and then I'll can go back into some exposition here. Right. Okay. So two squads of five. Yeah. Basically like the, the one you just the, had for breakfast. Yeah. The sorcerer and this this slave. And the sorcerer is already undergoing the ritual. Yes. Basically has already revived that. That's yeah, you can't actually keep him from doing it. But you can see this other person coming up. But you don't know whether, whether that is actually Xosath, but you, you assume it is. Uh, all right, Mortos, we need to get to the sorcerer and, you know, use the staff of yours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you can right. get me close and clear the armies, yeah. maybe it'll work. I just put uh, a token for the other sorcerer there as well, because I've got a nice picture for him, but he hasn't got up yet, so I'll read that out first. So, um, uh, where is this gone? Can you all do me? Oh gosh, what is it called here? Awareness or something? Observation? Yeah. 
observation An observation role. Thing, yeah. observation observation if you want to carefully watch what's going on in the middle you can do an observation roll and if somebody gets three successes uh maybe on two but definitely on three i'll tell you something we got two i'll tell you something not everything so um where is it you notice how this guy when the with the falcon mask basically is still muttering stuff and saying stuff the other one is sort of gasping and um twitching his body as energy flies through a body that has been dead for a while um but you see that there are some moats floating up from the ground around it like from the circle basically where these these dead women were close to them from the ground out come some some dark motes of, of shadow and move into the bodies of these uh, women who have been bled. Oh boy. Oh boy, something else is going on. So uh, We're going to fight zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Undead, right? That's what we're here for. Huh? The mass sorcerer's attention is fully upon his injured hand where the uh, gem is just splintered. Mm. And on the figure in front of him, and this figure, Sosath, you assume, sits upright. His wounds are raw and gaping across the body, but they are slowly closing. You can see how they sort of grow shut. Very, very disconcerting for you. Then he slowly gets to his feet, look around the circle, his gaze settling on each of the sacrificial slaves where they kneel and passing over you while he does that. He nods, turns to face Sarothos, his intended master. And Sarathos speaks again. Yeah, this is a little bit what you're spectating, yeah? Appreciate that. I name myself Sarathos, and as the master of the Black Ring and a high priest of the Great Serpent said, it is my will that this man, now united in flesh and spirit, be bound into my service. He stands within a ring I have scribed with promises to you, Serpent King, and to your dark and terrible brethren. And circled as such, he is to become my slave, and slave to my will, and bent to serve my commands alone. As is marked the circle surrounding him, so shall his confinement be in eternal servitude. <laughs> right. A cruel smile crosses Xothar's lips then, and I'm going to show you the picture now. Because I like it. Oh, wow. You like him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the journey. And he just <laughs> says... Um, with his cruel smile, te a terrible darkness crosses his features, and the eight women surrounding the two sorcerers all of a sudden stand up. Their hands are reddened with their own blood, and the bronze owls of their own lifeblood, uh, bowls, sorry, bowls, of their own lifeblood are now empty, because what they've done is they've poured their own lifeblood over the circle, washing it away. The Binding Circle. Then he reaches down and picks up the serpent-bladed bladder, uh, dagger that the other guy has dropped, testing its point with a fingertip, and just says, No, I think not. And at this moment, everything, hell breaks loose, basically. You can quickly give me, and I mean quickly, what you want to do, no long discussions, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, so boy. these women, they, they're not the slaves, are they? They were, but now they seem to be something else, and I'm going to reveal them. I actually have a little picture for this as well. It's actually made it as a scene. I'm a little bit daft. I'm going to show you the scene anyway. And they I'm were the space back. before. Okay. okay. So the scene looks like this. I should have made that as a, as a picture to display. Ooh. <laughs> Essentially like in the mummy, the movie. They're all coming up from the ground, so they're these modes, and then these dead women, basically all rise up and they do the ghastly dance. Mortas, your time to shine. <laughs> we just sent him in. <laughs> yeah. We'll just step back and let him take the lead. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. part ways. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Two sort of gauntlet he has to walk through. Our uh, task is done. It's all yours now, Mortas. And all these, these ghastly, ghostly women, they're basically crowding around the guy with a, with a falcon mask. And his people are storming forward, trying to attack them. So there's a right, uh, what do you call it, a pell-mell in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, where everybody's trying to pile on each other. 
but there's lots of sorcerer's energy flying about. Well, I've got some special uh, effects. I can where do I find my movement? JR, do you still have those Molotov-ish cocktails of yours? Uh, no. Oh. I don't know if it work against ghost spirits. I think this is time for a bit of poison arrows. Yeah. I mean, it would work against the sorcerer at least. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Yep. <laughs> sort of That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, how many? Myself a little bit. <laughs> yes. How far can we move? Um, you can for free essentially uh, do yeah. one zone move. If you want to do two, especially if there's fight going on or there's rubble or something, you might have to uh, do a move roll or actually lose your second action, your main action. But from so, one stepping from one zone to the other is not a problem. You okay, can do so that. I I want to go. Th I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go one more zone. So, so you're going two zones. That's my action. That's my action. Yeah. Okay. So you're now in the same zone as some of the. No, you're not actually. That's a free zone. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's one of their turns. Mm hmm. And I think I'm going to take this one mob here, move it towards you, and they're going to have a go at you. Because mm -hmm. they don't fancy fighting against ghosts. They're much more impressed with you. Oh, it could be harsh for you. But hey, it's the final scene, right? It is, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's what 14 is all for. Look at my rubbish roll. <laughs> Excellent roll. One, Excellent roll. One success. You're doing, you're doing well. One success. Well, it's actually enough. One success is enough for a melee attack. Parry that shit. Can I dodge? Yeah. You can if you give me doom. Give me doom. Thank you. Give them and you need one success. That's the good thing with this yeah, one. Yeah, just one success. Make sure you get it. Yeah, there you go. You nice. can get a momentum out of it. Um, good. So you, you dodged that one. Right, your turn. Yeah. And I shoot the sorcerer. You shoot the sorcerer. Which one? Oh, there are two. Oh, the... Oh, Sothos. Like Sosath and Serothos. Well, both of them have hard names. You can say X or S if you like. Well, I think Serothos. The guy who point the guy who did the knife. The one who's holding a gem and he's burning his hand. No, that's, like, that's, we have one in the no, that's the other and guy. We have the you know bald one. So the guy yeah, the bald one. one. He was the guy doing the summoning, and the baldy yeah. guy has just got up from being dead. Him. Yeah, so Zotha, Sosa, Sosa. is the one just got up, isn't he? Yeah. yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm thinking of the other guy. Serathos. Serathos, yeah. There's lots of magical energy flying about. Just so you know that. Are you yeah, that's fine. That's are you fine. attacking Serathos, Serathos, who's basically being yeah. dogpiled by those ghosts? Yes. Yeah, so, hmm. no, he's busy, isn't he? Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for Zosha. 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 <laughs> The guy in the middle with the bald head. Can, can you do me linguistic tests to see whether you can actually pronounce the <laughs> name? <laughs> <laughs> so soft. So soft. Oh, hi, Ghost. Oh. Good to see you again on the stream. And I'm going to use a poisoned arrow. A poisoned arrow. Okay. Good choice. And there's lots of momentum, so I'm going to throw in a bit of momentum usage as well. So I'll generate a lot of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six successes, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Should be enough, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> well, he is uh, an Asheronian um, big sorcerer. You have to keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I suppose the question is, is does my eye hit him or hurt him? You will definitely hit something. But okay, let's see. He rolls, he selected <laughs> one. Uh, oh, nice. there we go. Eight damage mm -hmm. with a bit of poison thrown in for good measure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eight damage. No, let me just look at my character sheet here, which I've taken off the screen. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see whether I can apply this. Whether it works. Keto poison. 
And you know I'll get a second arrow off as well with, with some of the momentum. Does that mean you have to spend yeah. um, a thingy? A load, a reload, or not? Is that the volley thing? No, no, this isn't volley. No, this is... Second attack. Right. Yeah, if I use volley, it means the effects do plus one damage. Mm -hmm. But then, but I've only got one volley, so I'm a little bit... So I'm just using a second attack. So that's two momentum. Mm -hmm. Second attack and one difficulty hard, yeah. I'm not sure that's right, looking at it. It shouldn't have cost him a damage, because eight damage, he's got five armor. On his torso, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's got, mm. So it shouldn't have cost eight damage, it should have cost uh, three damage. Okay, you may have, maybe have to just manually... Yeah, I will have to mm. manage this manually, this doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but I'll, while you're doing that, I'll get a second attack off. Yeah, you do that. So go on. Let me just go spend momentum. I'm going to spend. Two He's a nemesis. He's the sort of top tier you can do. Mm -hmm. Three. There we go. And now, second shot. Yeah, at maximum Diffic momentum. Difficulty two. You throw in a couple extra momentum. Uh, oh, nice. nice. That is pretty good. Three successes. Successful. But he can Three actually successes. try. And then Damage is going to be. Uh, mm. Let me re roll two of them. Re roll. Oh, that's not good. No. Um, no, okay. okay with the extra, with the one momentum, I can do plus one damage, can't I, as well? You can. He's got, oh, he's got five points armor, isn't he? Well, you don't know that officially. No, I don't know. Okay, I, I, I would have used, I usually use the spare momentum for one point of damage. Okay. As well. That helps. Okay, uh, you definitely forward, have got a bit of his attention. So what is up? Oh, we've got a player reroll redeemed. Thanks, Ghost in the Machine. Always trying to help the GM. Great. <laughs> and don't forget the poison. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what impact that's having. Yeah. Yeah, we might find out. We might find out. So with that, however, one of these uh, ghosts is now zooming towards you. One of these ghostly woman basically revived zombies sort of thing and um gets not quite to you you were two zones away so she can't quite come to you unless i've got something special like charge attack ah, actually she can do a threaten attack from that distance she's gonna do that she's gonna scream Does she get you. two actions this is just one she just then how does she move two zones and get an attack? Okay. She can still do attack from there. Sorry, I forgot that there's a zone in the middle. <laughs> mm. But she can still do this one. Um, so she's going to throw a scream at you and I'm going to spend a doom on it. So two successes. For this attack. So you want me to, you want me to do a, a discipline check? A discipline, yeah. Sorry. Again, wrong game. Discipline check whether I can resist this. Can you? Ah, oh, well, it comes through. So, it's not so bad. So, threaten attack. Awesome. Basically nothing. Basically nothing. That's disappointing. No effects, it's just two damage, yeah? Two mental damage. No effects. So, then it's one of your turn. Hmm. Uh, I, I guess I'll go near the. Or do you want to try to kill the ghost? I mean, I'm, I mean, I could actually try to get in there, <laughs> spending the two uh, momentum for the secondary attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. You've got lots of momentum. You need to get rid of it. It looks in a bit of trouble. Nice. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So can I just check who are you attacking? Are you attacking this ghostly woman or the guy? Uh, no, no, no. The the stitching stitching guys. Uh, the normal warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The one that uh, were attacking Shira. So I was mm. basically coming to her aid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so 
Ooh. Total of six damage, right? Yeah. But um, so because of your vicious and intense Ooh. stuff, additional breaks. So wounds two. Ah, uh, it looks like you applied it to the ghost, though. Oh, I yes, that's right. You can yeah. see it on the stream. I didn't target the ghost. I targeted the other guy. I mean, I mm. take it. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I take it. it again. <laughs> <laughs> Your swords go straight through the ghost, and it's not being. Yeah. Happening. So is that better? Then I need to have a new copy of the ghost. <laughs> I'm trying to heal it. There you go. Yeah. Good. Good momentum too. So, take the attack, okay? Yeah, good. So it's their turn. I'm going to take one of the, the sorcerers, and basically, you can see that there's a lot of stuff flying about. Um, so much so that you're actually not quite sure what's going on. But there is a big grumble on the floor, and I think that will impact everybody here. So, let's have a look what he's called called Fury of the Elements, and here's what they're going to do. The start of the spell, the ground emits a terrible rumbling noise. This panics animals and average animal handling tests. You don't have animals. So what happens then is that you all have to, let's find it. Um, oh, come on. I copied this all out yesterday. That's gone. That's gone. While Frank so, is looking at all this, the Earth is gaping uh, white. Go on, tell. Well, I just wanted to. I I just wanted to kind of uh, while all this chaos is going, I scream to Tura, "Why do they want you? What have they told you? Why do they want you?" <laughs> I'd like to have a conversation. <laughs> well, I'm just screaming. Why do they want you? Because for me, I'm like. Everything has happened. Why did they want her? She wasn't going to be one of the slaves, so I'm kind of confused as everything is going on. Me too. Because they were really determined to get her. And that's the question since 19 sessions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it has been. Yes, I can, exactly. I can talk to you about that a bit later. There is something in the book about it, but <laughs> she doesn't know. So I, was, I, I found a bit where I, where I actually put it down. So it says... See, I gave you enough time. Any character in the affected region must um, make a challenging resistance check, please. Who's affected by this? Everyone. Um, this is everybody oh. apart from people who are right out. So Moatas is fine. Uh, Tura is fine. And Cryos is fine. Okay. As soon as we step in, it's going to... So we're, so we're rolling resistance? Resistance. resistance? And you need a difficulty of two. Nice. Um, okay, I'm gonna spend a momentum. Very nice. Very nice. So, doesn't affect you. But basically, everything around you um, shakes and rattles, and a couple of pillars fall down. There's lots of dust in the air. Um, so, that's just one of the spells or one of the sorcerers. So, does this af uh, does this affect the guards who are in front of me? Yes, they look very shaken. Oh. Okay, so they're not on the ground. They're not on the ground. No, okay. With fortitude. I can roll for them. Um, yeah, let's let's say a couple of them have fallen down. Let's make it like yeah. makes sense because they're much weaker yeah. than you guys. Right. Next of you. Uh, I'm. Has everybody gone? Um, no, no. Um, mm, I haven't. Been... No. And I'm probably just going to move. I don't think I can attack and move at the same time. You can move fun? one attack. Uh, if you've got anything with a slight range, or you can move two, and then you, you can do to a spend extra attack. momentum to attack. I guess I'll mental attack these. 
Uh, so with, with your staff against the undead, you don't want to attack the ghosts. Can I get to? Yeah, you just have to spend a momentum. Oh, you want to stare? Is that what you're saying? Um, it's two momentum, isn't it, for the extra? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe yeah. Uh, a second. Yeah. Attack. Second action. Yeah, so if you do a second, actually, it's yeah, and I need an action to get here. No, I'll just. There are. Yeah, I'll just mental attack these. You stay at them. Okay. Go on. One success. I'm going to spend a doom to try and resist that. Even though they're only little. Ha! Gotcha. Nice. I don't know why they're... Yeah, carry on. It's only two of them left, so I don't know why they rolled four dice. <laughs> I think that's about it. So, curious. go ahead. Actually, three of them left. But it can't be right. It must be two. No, it's their turn. Oh, uh, it's their turn. So, yeah. Some of the ghosts, I guess. But they'll be fighting amongst each other, mainly. So I'll just let that be over there, unless Sarathos is gonna. No, he's not bothering with you there. The, the sorcerers are fighting. They're lobbing mighty magic at each other, and dancing around and hopping around and jumping and hiding behind and stuff. So are we in a new round now? I think we're now in a new round. Yes. Because we need to apply the poison damage. Yes. If applicable. Oh, yeah. If applicable. Oops. Tell me much sign of the army yet. There is fighting behind you, and Haku's mm. people are basically trying to keep them away from you. Yeah. It's very noisy. <laughs> it is very noisy. I should really have some, some fighting sound effects here. Mm. Our stream uh, watchers will have to do that. Do the shouting. So what do you want to do? Quick plan. I'll just have to write to Thomas briefly. I mean, I guess we just keep going, hacking at them until the yeah, sorcerer is dead. Whilst mm. they fight each other, then they're going to be weakening each other, aren't they? So they're distracted. Mm. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking, is it's better to kind of take out... Yeah. I'm thinking of moving over towards here. Like trying to get a better angle. Yeah, be careful, you could be targeted quite easily. Well, yeah, I think... I mean, I don't necessarily have to go first, do I? No. No, no. no. So... Up to you how you want to organize. You could let Dezo go first and then see... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then Krius, you could move up and... I'm calling... Yeah, yeah. I keep on calling to Tura. Why the hell are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain later. <laughs> She says, because <laughs> she doesn't know. I was brought here by Sarathos. That's all she's going to say at this point. Yeah, yeah. Which one is Sarathos? Can the we pick the mask? Him? Oh, the guy with the mask. Okay. The so. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this guy there. The one up here. Yeah, that guy. Uh, all the most northern one. Yeah. Uh, the one that we're, all the ghosts are attacking. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And those guards are trying to protect them. I'll just show you the, the artwork again because I quite like it. That's Sarathos. So I'll show players. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when we had that picture, did we? Uh, we saw it a while ago, didn't we? Uh, you might have seen it briefly, yeah. But that's Sarathos. Mm. Okay. Nice. So? Yeah, right. I guess I'll hit the ghost now, or like the zombie. It's more like an animated corpse, is it? Instead of a specter. It's sort of a non, not very long dead person at all, because I just died about yeah. 10 minutes ago. So, like, but there is some animated, so I've got sort of ghastly, ghostly to. information all the way around it. Somebody's asking whether uh, the Austrian accent that you're putting on is specifically for Conan. Uh, no, I'm just Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, so much damage. Oh, wow. Damage. Now you're, That's you, awesome. You were trying to slay this this ghastly person, right? Yeah, yeah, like the, the zombie ghost. Like Zombie the, ghost. So, yes, they are sort of half half there. But let's have a look. Apply damage. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Oh, 11 bigger damage and two effects. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, there should be a Durso Disarmament Treaty. <laughs> <laughs> so with a mighty cleave, you basically uh, carve this, this zombie woman's body to bits and you just see some ghostly energy dissipating with a screech. And Tura shouts at you and says, Don't attack them on our side! <laughs> Sure she did. I'm sure she did. <laughs> right. That's it. Uh I mean I guess so. Good. <laughs> it's their turn. <laughs> um so you just killed one of them, didn't you? Mm. So they're they not gonna be impressed with that. They are on their knees. Not anymore, they got up, remember? Oh, yeah. So one of them is gonna come over to you. Take revenge for her sister. Um, cold dead hands? Yeah, let's do that one. And I'm going to spend a doom for an extra die. Maybe two? Maybe three? Two. It's there's after all. He's going to repost and all that. Oh, sure, another 20. <laughs> <laughs> so that is two extra parts for the 18 and the 20. I, I'm actually going to re-roll the 20. Um, That's the doom? For doom. No, not much better. <laughs> but so, this is a melee attack. This is a melee is attack. Cold at hands. Mm. Yeah, well, in this hands. Case, Physical attack with piercing. Let's parry that. You parry it. <laughs> And you don't want to repost now, do you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You know, it was about, isn't it? We don't need Conan in this party. We've got somebody who speaks Austrian who fights better. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, oh, my goodness. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Come on, do that much, do that much, do that much. Oh, it's only nine. Uh -oh. I'm not sure that's going to Just have to reroll that one. Ten. Oh, I can try. I can try. <laughs> what happened there? Didn't apply it, did it? No. No, I, I know why. Oh. <laughs> you just undeaded another dead person. No, the other way around. Deaded an undead person. We need to play some Walking Dead here, apparently. So. <laughs> So that was you again. I shouldn't have done that. Should know better than to attack you. Always to use threaten attacks on Durzo. <laughs> and Can't parry those. Who's next? Durzo has acted from your from your uh, group. Who wants to do next? Cries is rolling around. So it must be his turn. No, I'm just trying to rotate myself back to. Martez. Mm, sure, I'll. I'll go in and uh, attack this group just with the normal staff. Okay, the normal staff. Yeah, with the staff. Uh, the Evangelis, yeah? The yeah, Evangelis. Yeah, you may have to equip it first if it doesn't show up as an attack option. Oh, it should. Oh, look at that. And you rolled a one. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh. That's awesome. But you don't have focus on it. Yeah. That's why, it, yeah, focus zero, so it's only two successes. But two is, is what you need, so that's fine. If you one is what you need. Three damage on the right arm. Okay, we can try that. All right. Yeah, it's armor. Bounces off this armor. See, that's how it's supposed to work. Right. Um... What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I think, yeah, this this little mob here is trying to... Two people left. They're trying to pick a fight, and they're not going to fight Durzo because they've seen what happens. So, Shira, it's going to be you. 
Don't take it personally. So, they've got their cop ashes out. And roll. Just remember, we're sitting on six momentum, so... Yeah, yeah. Don't hold back. No, forget it. They're so shaken by everything that's going on around them, they can't even focus on hitting you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so my turn? If you want to. Or Krius, do you want to go? Well, I was just going to shoot the sorcerer again. That was my plan. Okay, so I'm... Okay, so as I understand it, the zone goes up to here. I'll ping. Hold on. Yeah, so the right? There, there so is. that's the same the, zone. The inner ring is another yeah. zone. Use yeah. Okay. So this is what I want to do. I want to run straight in between the ghost and this. And I want to get right there. And I, and I want to fight this guy uh with my uh i want to slash him with my fan and then dagger him no this is a very crowded zone so i'm asking you to do a movement roll on that one what is this one called in this game movement roll you can Agility? do acrobatics athletics, or athletics. Uh, acrobatics please okay and if you are uh difficulty so i'm going to be very you can get close Otherwise, you basically all these. How many? Sorry, two. Two. Got all these these uh, ghostly zombie women fighting there as well. So it's hard to get past. That, that is two. So you can get close. Okay. So, with my already prepared fan, I am going to slash this guy in the neck <laughs> with my. Uh, metal uh, fan, uh -huh. my kitty and my kitty and fan, and as soon as I do that, I'm going to bring my dagger up into his skull from from the bottom. That's okay, the plan. So that is that is my plan. That's the plan. So the f the fan comes first. Uh, is there a difficulty to this? Um. I guess it's a normal difficulty, but he can defend it because he's not a minion. Yes, cer certainly. Okay. So that's four successes. I'm going to spend the doom to try and parry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give him another doom of dice, dice of doom. So he's got two. That means he still gets through. So your difficulty was two, basically, to attack him. Mm -hmm. uh, which means it gives you momentum as well. But yeah, three damage. And you said this okay. thing is poison, yeah? Yeah, oh yes. And then my dagger. I'll just apply this one first, make sure I've got the right target. So I don't poison you by mistake. It's not working right. Because it's you don't have anything that is um what is it called? Piercing. So his armor should have been working on this one. Three points of armor has he got? But it didn't. Three. Got a complication though. So if the three points of armor you didn't hit him, you didn't harm him, yeah. No. It didn't harm him. That's the thing. There's something not, not going right with NPC armor. So, and then your dagger comes in. Right, one success. I'm going to use your, uh, uh, um, your complication to actually feed me with a little bit of, of doom, because it, it's running a bit low. It does have stun on the fan, so... Yeah, you didn't get through his armor, though, so... No, you didn't get through. And you, and you need to do the effect, don't you, to do stun? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So with the dagger, in theory, you hit again. Um, come on, do the dam. Uh, the the, the um, dam. Oh, do the damage. damage. Yes. 
Sorry, daring Paul. Yes. We need more details, he says. But about what? So four physical damage, that would be. And this well, one is that. unforgiving. Yeah. Exploit. No, that's not exploit. Okay. So that actually gets through one. Right. So your daggers go through. So that means that my poison isn't off. It just means that I haven't hit. I haven't. You only had the poison on the fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's still there. The poison is yeah. still there. It's right. actually, it, it's like a car. It, it's like cartridges is how I had envisioned it. Right. But it, it's like once it hits, it like properly hits, it releases. Mm hmm. Okay. Gosh, this is a. Hopefully, you're keeping track of who's acting and who hasn't, because it's their turn now, isn't it? Yeah, Creus, I believe, is last. Yeah, I'm the one left, left the guy, yeah. Yep. So, uh, what I'm going to do. And Tura. I think Serothos is going to act on Shira. What's he going to do? He's distracted because he really doesn't want to fight. He wants to fight somebody else. But if somebody attacks him like this, he's got a spell for that. So, <laughs> it's this one here. I'm not quite sure how this works. We haven't really done much magic, have we, in this game so far? No, no, it's been a long time. So, let's check here. How does it work? Special ability. Yeah, it should be this one. Ooh. Dismember spell. It's got a success. That's all it needs. Now, uh, can I... Do I get to roll like a discipline or a sorcery test you can evade it and i think you can resist it i think it's called resist so res so resist oh so it's not a discipline it should be discipline or resistance resistance check. pretty sure it's resistance yeah. for this one okay i assume i guess it depends on the type of attack like resistance is more for like physical stuff and discipline for mental yeah, that's physical. what I was... It is physical. It is physical? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. oh, that was lucky. Um, okay, the next time he's going to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you resisted it. You yeah. resisted it. So, um, what did it feel like? Describe it, felt, it to us. It felt <laughs> like there were a hundred thousand little needles going and trying to get into your flesh to rip you to shreds. Oh, I didn't like that at all. He's it's in trouble the name, next time. The name the spell tells you everything. Yeah, it? yeah, I know, but I needles, just wanted to needles hear. Needles and pins, you know. Needles but and really pins. Bad case I hate of that. needles and pins. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Christ, come on. Okay, right. Uh, so let me bank your momentum. Uh, Oh, yeah, there are three momentum. Oh, okay, so you have to do it oh gosh, um, I think I probably should have um, done this okay. differently. I think so I actually don't, don't do the uh, attack right away. I should have done a spell check for him first. That's what he would have had to resist. I'm talked in Zoseth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Two well. successes. Mm -hmm. Efficient. That's not so much. I'm going to try and evade. Oh, do you want to tell me if you're successful first? Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. He's successful. Oh boy! So what I? What happened to that poison? I don't, we don't know. We don't know. It doesn't seem to act inside. as quickly here as it has previously. Okay, yeah, that's why I was asking. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm burning two momentum to get a second shot. Okay. Oh, I can... Oh, that's sorry. Ignore, to totally ignore that. That's damage, yeah. Okay, sorry. B2. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I... <laughs> <laughs> Great attack. Lovely. Wow. I was just about to say we are rolling incredibly well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the donation of Doom. Thank you very much. 
Let's be done. That's you done. So he hasn't actually acted yet, Sosath. Let's see. There's this little spell here, this doom spell. What he can I'm do. quite happy staying way back here. Just uh, yeah. Around. As long as they're within three zones, I'm fine. So it is called. Am I really going to do that to you, White Demon Fire? So let me just find how that works. Incandescent Blast. Uh, uh, it's not in the program, so I can't show you. All right, he's going to do something else. Um, I seriously read all of this stuff, but it's gone out of my head. After he's done that, he's done that. That's boring. Really, he's Frank, you're just controlling about 15 people. <laughs> yeah, we need to trim your numbers down, don't we? Yeah. No, I think what he's going to do, he's going to attack Zarathos again. I think that makes more sense in this moment. Okay. And Zarathos is basically blasted with a sort of a cloud of green poison that's flying towards him. Whereas all these people around him are basically all these little zombie women are laying into the soldiers as well. There we go. So... That brings it around, I think. It does. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll... Let's see, Kreis, you probably are furthest away from everybody, right? So you are keeping an eye. You see a winged beast in the sky above you. Oh, shout. Above! Beware! So the others are warned. Uh-huh. Don't know whether they have time to look. The others? No, oh, look up, not down, up. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. You know, remember those hella happy things? Yeah, yeah. That's basically what you see again. Circling above you. Okay. As I hot foot it and change the token. I'm handy up there, is it just one? Just you can right now you see one of them. But it's way above you. So it's about ten meters above you. Or not ten yeah. feet. Well. It's above you. Okay. So, yet you guys turn. Who wants to act? Um, she is in a pretty bad situation there. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to go first, Shira then? I guess I'll try to finish off the stitchens, just so we can move. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you have it roll fewer than five successes? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's, uh, he's not done yet. He can roll for a while. Takes a while. Yeah. He'll be well. Yeah, he'll be rolling for five. So eight damage. Shall we go with that? Yeah. Five Actually, uh, that was, that's I'll use one crazy. momentum to add another Vicious onto that. Vicious 2. You get five effects, right? Yeah, so another five damage. But, um, two deaths, and that's it. They're done? Yeah, they're done. Perfect. They are done. Well done. Well done. Right, their turn. Mm. I think Seraphos is trying to do something with you again, and I'm trying to do this right this time. Uh, just repeat, can I still uh, take a free action to move one sound? Yeah, yeah, you can still move. Yeah. You can move before or after your attack, that's fine. Then I'll. Like the, the gray thing is one sound? Mm. Yeah. That's right. Then I try to get as close to Shira as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> That's fine. So I just need to have a sorcerer fight here for a little bit. Um, how am I going to do this? I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use the harpy flying in to attack Shira because he wants to. The sorcerer calls it, and he wants to focus on the other sorcerer. 
So it's going to be that one here. Yeah. The harpy. And I think I'm going to use a mental attack. Because ghastly gnawing. So. So this lavering beast is basically making lots of noises at you and pretending to be gnawing on your bones already. So this is a discipline. This is a discipline. And two successes. Needed one. You got this. Got this. Yeah, easy. Ooh, thank you very much. Complication. This is not the my friend. <laughs> so what happens is you get some mental damage on this. Ooh. Five. Uh, that's a tra that's a wound. What a wound. That's a trauma. Please I think tell me trauma. Uh, Mental wounds are called trauma. It's one of the things on Modiphius games. They've got this this habit of calling the same thing different names all the time. Yeah, yeah. Even within the same game. Yeah. Like they are all harms, but if it's physical then it's a wound and if it's mental then it's a trauma. Just say harms. <laughs> yeah. Well, then using three words. But anyway, um Yes, so you are stunned. Well, it's actually stunned. an area. Sorry, it's just stunned. seeing as an area effect. Um, automatically affects any target within reach of the initial target, so you are within reach because you moved as close as you could. That means, Jersey, yeah. you have to roll your um, discipline as well. Sorry, Jersey. Why do I have to roll discipline? Because this it's an area attack. It's an area attack. Oh, oh, that, that's not good. Uh, if one of my complications are rolled, I could have chosen something as well. Oh, oh. complications! Oh, are rolled. that's ex oh. that's like we just give him oh. doom. Yeah, He's hang his on. Hands. Let Look me at just him. double read this because there was something else here. I'm going to do the damage. There was something about the um, complication, how to use it, which I can't actually see if I just extend uh, expand it. So this is Derzo's damage. Four. If I now go to area and hover over it. Oh, one of more that's complications, nice. um, GMs may choose one of the complications to have the attack hit an ally within the area. Yeah, okay. And now you've stun. done that, you've done that. Now stun says the target yeah. may ignore this at the cost of one point of doom for each effect roll. Yeah, I, I'll do that for obvious oh, reasons. Staggered. Okay. Thank you very much. And can I do that? You can do that too. Yours is three doom nodes. It is that yeah, I know, but yeah, I, I would rather do that than the alternative. Yeah, you don't be stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. Desert, yeah. Do you, have you done your damage or do you want me to apply it? Oh, I have four carrot soak, so there is no damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the effect won't harm you then. Yeah. Then you don't um, need to give it to me. separate things. So take off those doom. No, one of them. One, one of them. them. One of them, yeah. Right. So your turn. Gosh. No, 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 no. You still get the tomb. Like, the attack hits me. Yeah. It just does the damage. But the effect still triggers. Really? Okay. Doesn't it? I, I don't mind. So. Okay, it if you give me the doom, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't be bothered not to go into okay. the rule books and sort this out. Okay, so I've given you the doom. You have. Okay. So Tura is also actually haven't acted. She's also running forward now. But she wants to basically get to Seros, Serothos. And narratively, I'm not going to roll for them. You see how these, these zombie women basically part in front of her and let her through. Because she herself is a zombie woman. No, because of something she told you, but you probably don't remember. Because he thought it was not important. Oh, she said she wanted to get back at him. Not just that. There was something else. But let's not go there. So, okay. who's next in the year round? Is it Mortas? Uh, yes. Because Crisis Hand, uh, she round, you haven't acted yet. Oh, uh, I, I haven't yet. I don't remember. Yeah. Right. So, go for Mortas. Mortas, you run forward. Who or what do you want to attack? I'll go. <laughs> I'll try to clear a way. I'll try to clear a way to get to the sorcerer. I'm moving these guys Listen. out a bit. 
Actually, this Stygian soldier will be dead by now. So, who do you want to attack, or what do you want to attack? I guess we have to attack some of these uh, ghostly women to get to... Now, they, you have observed, because you're sort of the observant guy, okay. um, that they don't attack people who haven't attacked them first. Mm. Or have can't attack the master first. I can't attack the harpy, right? You can attack the harpy. Oh, it's you can't attack the harpy? It's on the ground now? Uh... Well, depends how how much range you've got. Let's put it that way. Because it was Maybe just gnawing. Was gnawing at us, so he kind of has mm. to be in reach. Slavering uh, over you. Yeah, it's interesting. Right, well, attacking the you... sorcerer. Haven't you got a staff that will harm the? Yeah, yeah you can get close. Oh, yeah, but the, st the staff. Yeah. Hopefully, Remember, the staff this is only, Even though it looks really, really busy, it doesn't mean that you can't move past each other. Yeah, this is not uh, not a battle grid as such. It's zones. Hmm. Um, if the stones reach, which is two, works. Is, yes. is it an undead harpy or is it just a normal harpy? It's what they call a hell harpy. Has it got uh, undead? They count no. as undead. It doesn't have the. So it's a demon no. rather than undead. Alright. So two successes. And that's with your staff. Yep, and it does get stunned. Very nice. Uh, yes, no, this is the question again, isn't it? Unless okay. you can parry. Well, it needs yeah. to be getting through. So I can ignore it at the cost of one doom. So there you go. I ignore that. Two, two doom. doom. Two, 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 one doom. Two, two, two. One doom per effect. Oh, perfect. Okay, two doom. Get 50% off. You know, I'm just GM. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You reduce the doom. I think that's every one of us, isn't no, it? No, that's not one. That's not one. Didn't you shoot the... I went no, the I haven't... last round. I haven't gone. So oh, seven... Yeah, okay. Okay, so is it my turn? Yeah, I mean, they're going to fight amongst each other mo most of the time. Yeah, so the sorcerers, as much as they can, they just attack each other. And currently, Serothos looks like he's losing. Because he's got all these ghastly women clawing at him. Okay. Uh, the Hell Harpy. He also looks a bit. Is, picky. and how is it? Is it flying now, or is it still kind of perched? Or it's hovering over you. So it's flying, but reach two was was good enough. So you can get to it with a longer weapon. Okay. So I'm gonna try something. I will leave it at your discretion. Go on. What I, en what I envision is that Shira, uh, Shira sees that Tura is coming and realizes that this is her quarry. And so because I failed so miserably, I use my whip. I'm going to go around the body of the Hell Harpy to swing myself over to get to to get to Zothas and stab him with the dagger. So I'm, uh, uh no, awesome. yeah, awesome. I'm going to stab him with the dagger. That's right. Well, but so, you first of all, relying on actually doing an attack on the harpy, grappling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then yeah. doing a move and then doing a second action. Yeah. So well, I just, I'm just would... proposing. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, that would work thematically. That's what, that's, that's what you're hearing. Yeah. yeah. But it's going to be quite tricky. I might even... Yes, I know that. ...let you make a, an acrobatics roll in the middle of that to actually pull off that maneuver. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. okay. Try to attack the, the harpy then. All right. I had the wrong thing open. I was going to... I was going to... Okay, so... How are we doing for momentum? Very elaborate. Go on. Remember I'm gonna, to I'm gonna do momentum. this first. Ooh, nice oh. twenty. Nice twenty. Success with failure. So you can't re-roll that or anything, do you? No, 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 no. So what I'm gonna do then with a the complication is yes, you managed to, um, to hit that thing. Yeah, you managed to hit the beast, but I can try to get out of the way. Let me just try that first. Do you want me to roll damage anyway or not? No, not yet, not yet. No. Nope. So I'm okay. gonna spend one doom. Get out of the way. Yeah, it actually gets out of the way. 
So the okay. whole maneuver fails and step one. Okay. And for the complication in that case, I'm going to say that your your whip has snagged on the stone. So it wrapped itself around the stone rather than around the beast. Oh, okay. So it's the same thing. So uh, I'm going to... It's it's low. You can't swing oh, yeah, it's up low. on the stone that's yeah. on, on your level. So you okay, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna still try that forward movement of moving, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to move from there to here. I right. don't believe that after doing all of that, I can do anything else. No, I don't think so. And I would like to no. do an athletics for that move. Yeah, absolutely. In the middle, there's a big altar, isn't it? There is a stone, yeah. Yeah, can't see yeah and that's what I got my thing snagged on. But I've released that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to waste any doom. I'm just going to... Or nice. waste any momentum. I'm just going to try it. Okay, two is what you needed. So that's fine. Okay. You can make that move. Now, um, it's their turn, right? Mm. I'm going to say that two of these... Beasties, ghastly women, mm. fall to Sarathos's spell. That's his turn. So, one of you. So, I'm the one who's left? Yeah. I'm... Harpy, Harpy's still a nice target for you? If you want exactly. to go for it. Exactly. It, it's up in the air. It's the perfect target. I'm going to stick an arrow or two inside of it. Uh, so... I'm going to keep my momentum spare. There's still a battle raging behind you, if you remember. Yeah, I'll, I'll, mm. I'll just glance yeah. back periodically in case someone's Ooh. coming up here. Very nice attack. Nice. nice attack. Uh, yeah, do your damage this time. Range attack should be difficulty two, though, rather than one. So it's one momentum fewer. Why so that's... Are you re-rolling that? Yeah, oh yeah, so I'm just wondering why is it difficulty to... Uh, for... Range attacks are difficulty too, as far as I remember. Yeah, and then you get like uh, either plus one or minus one, depending on the sound you're in. Uh, you have the right range, so... Mm. Sort of, yeah, it's a hunting bow, so I think that's got a range of... Two. It's got a range of two, but then I've got a talent that gives me plus one. So it's or one, minus two, one. three zones away with plus one is fine, yeah. That doesn't change anything. Yeah. So, um, 10 damage, that would be. Yeah. So let me make sure I don't target Dozo. And so therefore, you say I'll generate two. He's not. And therefore, one effect, but the effect is nothing special. No. So it has not. taken a wound. Okay, and I'll use two momentum that I got from the attack to get a second attack. Well, again, it has not actually taken the armor into account for that beast. Uh, so it's D2 attack. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Missed second attack. But um but um complications. I just okay. like it when you do complications. So now one of the things um I don't want to do is drag this this fight out just to do dice rolling the whole time. We have been doing that for mm -hmm. quite some time mm -hmm. now. So I'm going to narratively intervene a little bit and basically say that there's a huge um, spectral snake that comes up from underneath the ground and attacks Xenothos. And he is considerably weakened by that. You can see basically how these jaws snap onto him, even though he claims to be yeah, the master of set and all that sort of stuff. Um, and after that, he looks really, really weakened. So he calls to him this harpy who grabs him in its claws and tries or starts to carry it, him off. So you now have a chance to act on that if you want. Those harpies have to. They just have so much plot armor. <laughs> so he's, I will try to shoot down from the sky. 
Do you want yeah. to try and shoot the harpy, or do you want to try to shoot the sorcerer dangling from it? The harpy. Okay. And I'm going to use poison as well. Right, so you now seek out that poisoned arrow. Yeah. Uh, if I can bring that down, then the, then the sorcerer comes down with it. Okay, going to so go. Uh, let's use a couple of minutes. Let's use a couple of minutes. Not a great roll, is it? It is a hit, though. Mm -hmm. Let me see whether I can plot armor it, as you say. Evade it. So... Uh... So how much have I got? One momentum, and you had one momentum. On a tie is the active part of the players, isn't it? Who get it? Is that right? Yeah. There's was not convinced. Four damage. Bear with me, hang on a sec. Roll selected. And I'm going to use just in case, I'm going to use a load to, go, to do plus one damage on each of the effects. So that's mm -hmm. eight damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, eight damage. Let me try poison. to apply this. With the poison, yeah. So, eight. One load left. So that should be right now with the armor. Actually, it's one too many. Okay. Um, you hit it, it screeches something mighty, and it's starting to sort of list sideways a bit, but it is making some progress. Now. Uh, the poison will kill it. Shira, you have moved towards Xosath, haven't you? Yes. So these, these ghostly women next to them mm. will try to defend him. And they will do an, another unholy scream at you. Let's put an extra die on it. Ah, oh, look at that roll. Oh, oh. Points. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> the roll's private, but we can still see it. Yeah. You can still see it. Yeah, we saw it. It says you privately rolled, but we see the dice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we see the dice. I didn't actually mean to private reload. That was for the previous one because I was rolling something for the Hell Happy resistance. Um, so so I'm going to spend a couple of doom to rerolls because I want something to happen here it's too easy for you so far reroll selected so two successes there we go unholy screen and that is what did we work out a discipline check if you want to okay. defend against it oh I'm certainly going to try to defend against Thank that. you. Just getting to discipline, and I'm going to roll that. Very nice. At one. We won. You need, you need two. Shit. You need two. So let's see what the scream does to you. That's only a little scream. Two mental. That's okay. No effect. How are you doing for mental? For me? Yeah. Well, like nothing's it? come off. Oh, because it's a second attack. Nothing's come off, so I don't... I thought you had done it manually. Okay. Oh, I didn't do it manually, so... I just How far I down am I? Two last time, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm just... And five before. Up. Remember, you've got to take your... you got one trauma as well. I'm just going to give you seven yeah. now. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you want me to take that trauma? Uh, you should have that now. Yeah, I've got it. So, okay. um, that definitely has shaken you a bit. Yeah. Right. Can I, can I act? Uh, somebody from your party can act. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Is the harpy still flying? The harpy is sort of, but not making a lot of headway. Okay. Uh, okay. This, like if it's Go on. Of, I would move it's towards flying, like flying and attack Xosoth. 
Just going for big swing there. Yeah, okay, go for it. I'll be right back. Hmm. No, you see. Under oh, five no, successes. You see, parrying? Under five, yes, yes, he's definitely parrying. All right. Um, see? But he's not very good at parrying. That's the thing. Gonna give him another roll. Yeah, not good enough at parrying. Also That's focusing. how I like it. <laughs> re-roll, re-roll, re-roll again. Five damage. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll add the vicious one for one momentum. Okay. So let me make sure it's targeted. So it should be eight damage. It should be. Let's see what happens. Huh. Again, it didn't take into account his armor. Oh yeah, he's got about, he's got he's got five points armor, isn't he? He does. Yeah, well. Doesn't take that into account. Annoying. But okay. Yeah, you definitely cost him some some grief. And he's actually still focusing, and he seems to be casting something as well on the, uh, or he was, anyway, on the harpy. So the harpy now basically crashes to the ground, Sarathos smashed underneath it. You're not quite sure what happened to Sarathos, but they are basically over here in the corner on the ground. So, what's, that means what's Tora doing? Tura What's is probably running over there, I would say. Okay. And uh, one of the ghosts as well, because they want to see what's going on. Okay. But the other ghosts are now probably going to go after you, because you're attacking the master. Ghosts. I keep calling them ghosts, but you know, the ghost zombies. The gombies, or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Gombies. <laughs> so, I can go? Yeah. Okay. One so I'm. And don't forget about Mortas, though. Yeah. Well, are they attacking? I guess they're attacking Shiro's. So I'll attack. I'll attack them with a the staff. You just decide who get wants to off. go first, you or Shira. I'll get him off Shira with the staff. So you're gonna go first? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. So you move on zone because it's to get close to them, and then yeah, that that's not gonna do it. Hmm. Hmm. Need more practice with the staff. I can't reroll that. No, I don't have a uh, Derzo's melee talent. So now, one of them comes up behind you and tries to attack us. Well, let's see. Which one? Uh, you are soft and squishy, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm going to stretch out the, the melee attack. <laughs> <laughs> and they also. <laughs> they are just as. <laughs> I are incapable of hitting, as you were. Okay. So, I'm going to target Sothas uh, with, uh, I, I guess, with the fan uh -huh. and the dagger. Uh, so, I'm going to hit with the fan first, which is poisoned, and I'm hoping uh, to do something. So, I'm going for his neck. Yeah. And I'm going to use I'm going to use that momentum. That's a one in it. Wow, five, five success. successes. Five successes. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Let me just see what I want him to defend. Um it's sort of pointless, but it might reduce the momentum you get. So I might yeah, do that. momentum for second attack, so if you reduce it. Yeah. Um, and that's not actually true. Again, it says difficulty increased due to wounds and trauma. He doesn't. That's one of his special abilities. He doesn't have that effect. So how do I compensate for that? I guess I give him a free, free d20. Yeah, that works. So, um, 
Success is five, so it's should be that. No, he's not gonna do it. So, do your damage. Ha, feeble. You call that damage? <laughs> Double figures. You can't read them. So, yeah. <laughs> what you want to do here, because you've got so much, so much momentum, use extra damage and then you, you get more damage than his armor and then you penetrate and cause the poison damage. Yep. So, you have generated through your attack um, four momentum. So you could spend yep. all of that on extra damage. I'm going to spend it on extra damage. So that would then make it eight damage, right? Yeah. My maths? Yeah. So and so I've just spent to, it. You're starting, starting to hurt him a little bit, yes. I have to do this manually. Okay. He's so he's got double, double do doses of poison. Mm. He does. One thing it does not affect me. It was one of those abilities but yeah okay he's got a double dose of poison as you say so which doesn't affect him yeah, yeah but still i mean he i'm doing it. what my character would yeah, do yeah, right absolutely, like absolutely. she's not yeah you're right so it's their turn um he has cast the spell this turn it was wasn't it so two right yeah. those guys are over there that leaves just one group here left and these women are gonna come close to you derzo and of course. also going to screech at you. No, Durzo's not screeching. They wouldn't have screeching. So, the unholy scream. Uh, running a little bit low on Doom. I'm just going to do the normal. Oh, ah, one success. Uh, what did we say? Was it resistance or discipline? Discipline for this one. <sighs> It was the unholy scream death three combat dice attack? Weak one. Oh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it yeah. is quite weak. It is quite weak. Yeah, yeah then uh, yeah. I'll just take it. I'll take it. Okay. That's two bits of roll. Oh, it's only two. And you've got your courage, don't you? All right. He says, Oh, I've got yeah. armor. Come on, bring it on. <laughs> you are not afraid because you know that you are full of self confidence and you can defeat I mean, anything. I paid and a fortune in talismans and necklaces and you know <laughs> amulets. I'm geared out for this shit. And I missed the tea, aren't you? <laughs> 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 I can just not see that with Derza with all the chains on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, look, you can't do anything against me. I've got this yeah. one, this one, this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, anybody who hasn't acted yet from your side? Okay. So, a new turn. Um, I am going to spend one Doom to CC initiative. And I'm going to cast a spell. No, he's an Asheronian sorcerer, and I think he's a denizen of Demon Age as well. So he can reroll any any sorcering tests that he wants to do. So, let's see. This is more for me than for you guys. Yeah, three successes for a spell. Mm. Yes, for a spell, three successes. Which one shall we go for? I think I might go for this member again. And I'm going to go for this one here. Yeah. I'll just pop this out so I can read it without blocking the whole scene. Oh, yeah, he's casting some spell. He's uh, summoning uh, the the powers of Asheron from back then. And he's going to do that with alternative effect. No. That's an attack he's going to get on one of you. It's not, not area. So I think it's going to go for Durzo. Or Shira. Shira has hit him twice. So on a one, two, three. Mm -hmm. That's going to go for Durzo. 1d6. Come on. 1d6. Otherwise, it's Shira. Yay. 1, 2, 3, Durzo, I said, right? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, why are you smiling so much, Douglas? <laughs> sucks. I know. <laughs> so what you will have to do is, um, you have to do now. This is physical, so it's resistance, and he's got three successes, two momentum. That's what you have to beat. <laughs> oh, we didn't give you any momentum to use. I know. Yeah, that's just. I mean, let's try it. Not the ones. Yeah. Oh, not, bad. Oh. not bad. Not bad. But he still has more momentum than you, so it does get through. Um, but I only get one momentum out of it. So it's mental damage with vicious quality of two, and with piercing three. No, actually, it's piercing three. That's what it is. That's the one that matters. Now. Um, what was it for damage dice? Was it D? Do you remember? Uh, it's DP, I think. DP. Uh, sorry. So we have to no, manually count them. One though. DP, yes. Yeah, we have to just count them. So the three doesn't do anything. The four doesn't do anything. The six is one damage, and the five is one damage. So you've got two damage and two effect. So the piercing comes through with piercing six. <laughs> So it's two damage? Two damage mental. Oh, pity I have. Uh, Actually, I might want to re-roll two of the dice. No, let's leave it. I just can celebrate because I actually cost you some damage. Ha! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, so no, that's not so the first mental damage in this game. It's not? Sorry? No, no, it's not. Not, not uh, quite the first one. No, not no, quite. No. Um, so... Narratively, um, you've got these these women, basically these women gombies, uh, trying to to claw at you, shout at you, and so on. Now, Shira, um, how are you doing mentally? Uh, I'm at three with a trauma uh, out of ten. With a trauma. So you're definitely finding that's a hard, hard fight. Mort has a bit puzzled because whatever he tries to bat at, he can't hit. But at the same time, he doesn't get it, so he feels a bit like he's out of this world or something. They can't hurt him, possibly. Cryas, what are you doing? You were stepping back and targeting, but what are you doing now? That you see that they're all clumping together around Sosath. Yeah, I think I'll start coming forward now, because I'm conscious. So I'll keep an eye on behind me as well, just in case um, any survivors come from the, the fight. But I'll, I'll move forward to get to a better position to shoot the uh, also. Just one zone forward or two? Yeah, just one zone. One zone. Do you want to act as well now? I think you haven't acted. Yeah, well. I'd, I'd be aiming to shoot. Because uh, yeah. has acted, but nobody else, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, on you go. This is a mighty foe. Yeah, I know. I've hit him a couple of times and he doesn't go down. Uh, Three successes hmm. is not bad. On your, on your go. Try it. Try your damage. Ooh, oh, that was actually pretty that good. good. Yeah. That looks really good. That looks really good. So six physical damage, yeah? Yeah, but he's got five points armor. <laughs> yeah, your character doesn't know that. No, I know that. Uh, and and I'll, I'll bank the spare momentum. Actually, I'm going to do that manually because otherwise I just have to correct it. So... Okay. He's roaring. He doesn't like being peppered. Okay, anybody else? Uh, it's their, their turn. Mortas, you're going to be attacked by those screaming clown, uh, women, and they're reaching out their cold dead hands, hands again. Your stuff should work against them. They're undead, aren't they? Yeah, it should. Mm. Mm. It's... One success. If you hit, yeah. yeah. Which is for melee, is all you need. So. Do you want to defend, uh, have a reaction, basically, or do you basically say, nah, they, they I'll, can't hurt I'll, me? I'll parry it. I'll <laughs> parry with the staff. So I'll have to give you doom. You do. Thank you. you parry with the staff, with this magic stuff on the Vangeli, and actually, you managed to. Oh, so nice. Well done. So, who wants to go, go next? Martas? Uh, I guess I'll take the... It's not a repose it's like a Durza, but yeah, sure. It's not a repose, it's a normal mate. action. Yeah. 
It does count as undead, I would assume. So. They are undead, yes. They are indeed. They're freshly undead, but they're undead. So use the undead version of the stuff. Nice. Two successes. You needed one. So I'm not going to try to defend these guys. Because I need to keep my doom together. So do you damage? Piercing if I'm dead. Oh. Piercing three, no less. Piercing three on the vicious three. Vicious. Holy shit! Six. Against yeah, undead, it does. Against undead, well. it's a really good weapon. Otherwise, it's a bit nah, yeah. So let's see. But um, you managed to kill one. <laughs> so with a screech, awesome. they, this thing staggers backwards, and you can basically see how the magic of the staff is dissolving. The, the animated ghost that keeps this dead body upright and the body, body just crumbles in front of you, just falls down to the floor. And that's the ghost dissipates with another screech. Well done. That was good. So that gives it next to this one here, next to Shira, I think. Yeah. Oh, Shira, Shira, Shira. Let's see. Now they're going to try and intimidate you again with their screaming. And this time, I'm going to put an extra doom on it. Uh, I'll use a defend reaction on that. Because it's area, you think? Yeah. No, no. The idea is uh, I would like to try to them to target me instead. All oh, right. That's a work for threatened attacks. Wait. I mean, it's defend. I think it works with all three. Just I need to make the according roll. Okay. Like, Go for uh, it. Can I just... How do you post it in... Ugh. Essentially, it says uh, the skill used by the defender is determined by the type of attack as described in making an attack. So I assume it works in mental attack as well. I guess so, yeah. So that would yeah. be the same as you would have to roll, which is discipline. Let's try it. And if it fails, then it just yeah. targets Shira. But, so yeah. one success against two. And I guess I get to go, right? To try yeah, to... Like, this, is, this was just to try if I can yeah. redirect yeah, the attack so yeah. everything yeah. else works okay. normally. So, and, and you said try. it's discipline. Discipline. I'm giving you I'm just footer. picturing how this would have worked by uh, Forbidden Lands rules and how we would have been done an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you Rolling dice is fun! <laughs> um, you have a challenging difficulty, so you didn't have any momentum. And they had a momentum of one. Yeah, so you needed two successes, didn't you? But she mm. got, got two successes. I got two successes, successes but I also got a complication. Yeah. Difficulty two, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's right, though. Yeah, so mm. effectively, you got two successes, but this is a higher difficulty. You need one more. Because he had to did beat you. Dur did Durzo's no, intervention no. assist? Uh, no. If he takes the whole thing, he takes the whole thing, but otherwise he doesn't. Mm -hmm. You get it. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> for complicated <laughs> rule systems. So they had two successes when they attacked you. Which created one momentum essentially. So you had yes. to match. You basically had to match the momentum. But you have yes. a higher difficulty because you're injured. That's right. So you didn't manage it. Is that right? And that's why I added the extra dice using momentum is because I wanted to try, but yes. I didn't. Okay. So that means no dismembers, not the spell they're using. Almost dismembered you by mistake. Um, unholy scream is what they're using. Ah, it's not so bad. So, two mental damage. Do you want me to apply them? Yes, please. Yes, please. So polite. It's faster. So Canadian. It's faster. Sorry. <laughs> damage taken zero. Why? Why is it targeting the girls? <laughs> Be because I'm. I've got such a charming personality. That's fine. <laughs> Damage applied to Shira. That's, that seems to have worked. Hopefully. Resolve 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, Shira, it's your turn. 
Oh, oh man, I am having such a bad day uh, mentally. Yes. Uh, so I'm down to one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have. I'm. I guess I'm just going to continue doing the same thing because I was going to intimidate him. I was going to persuade him to get down on his knees. He's Maybe an that's my master sorcerer. So, yeah, you can try, uh, but he's got. Some I'm gonna. I, okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the same stabby with the. F same stabby with the fanny. Stab, stab with the fan. <clears throat> Swipe and I am not going to use the momentum. I'm going to leave that for Durza. Can I just point out that if you notice the token frame I put on around him? Have you zoomed in? Yeah. Like a snake. Yes. Especially. If oh. It's Oh yeah, nobody had noticed it. <laughs> oh, I I just noticed. It. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so I'm not going to spend them. I'm not going to spend the momentum. And you have another complication. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! How many twenties have we rolled today? A lot, a lot, um, a lot. So I think uh, I'm going to give yeah. him the chance to evade that. Okay. Um, Mm, that cost me the doom that you've just given me. Yeah, he evades that. Okay, and then I'm going to... Oh, I'd be using the two if I did the dagger move. He doesn't have a wound. What is this on about? Okay, so I'm not... I'm going to try to get myself out of this situation. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to move myself back. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to try to move myself out of the zone. Do me so I'm going to try. Yeah. Oh, athletics. I know you normally like yeah. acrobatics, but acrobatics, know. acrobatics. Absolutely. Any day of the week. Okay. You can disentangle yourself from him, but you can't get out of the zone. Right. I've so, left the momentum for Durzo. <laughs> yeah, so the, the ghostlies can try and attack Durzo. Um, and they try, but yeah, there's no point trying to do a melee attack on you. Because you just repost. So I'm going to do the screaming again. Boy, they're intelligent. Ooh, no, that's, that's oh, no. Nice oh. Yeah. <laughs> For successes. I get screamed at. Double one. And yeah. None of them was a fortune point, you know? That was just actually rolling. They're all screaming to each other, don't use don't, don't use physical attacks. You, <laughs> don't get use physical the force. with them. Use the force. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got four successes. Pretty intelligent zombies. So you want to do anything against that? Discipline roll? There is nothing I can do against four successes. Okay, okay, you never know. They actually have fear as well. I didn't even make you do the fear test on them. Um, so, yeah, damage. Fear test. Terzo and fear tests. Just, oh, just does not. <laughs> I love it. How many so, sessions have we played, yeah. and how many times? I got three excellent successes, so I could actually th add three damage. Do it, but it would still it. bounce off your courage, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there's no point. Oh. <laughs> right, there's all your turn. Come on, let's finish. All right. Um, seeing as the ghost is just squabbling to the side, um, go for the main baddie again. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Leave those girls. They can't. They can't hurt me. That girl band. Ah, I see a twenty. Oh, oh, it's a twenty. I see. I see a 20. All right. So let's I think see. I need a big spell again in a minute. Oh. Seven physical damage. 
Press five to calculating. Looking at this flow chart. <laughs> so seven. Yeah. Is there anything um, else that's gonna happen? Yeah, I'll use uh, momentum to add vicious to that attack. Right. Uh, which means an extra damage for the two effects. For so each effect, yeah. That's now nine. So damage. a total of eleven damage. Yes. Which 11. should cause two wounds. Eleven. It does cause him a wound. Yes, it does. But the thing is that he doesn't get impacted by the wounds. So how can I keep track of the wounds? I know. That's how I'm going to do it. No, I can't. Uh, I mean, I will also just do this again. <laughs> try again. Come on. So... Oh, nice. Six successes. Look at that. I might have to try and defend that one. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, that was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> my number of successes. There's no way. Absolutely no way. So you're going to do that uh, again, yeah? I'll add the vicious one to that one as well. So vicious one, you mean vicious two, really, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it has vicious one, like... Yeah, okay. Now, that is another... Nine plus... Oh, you do the maths. Come on. How much damage is it? It's 9 plus 8, 17. 17 damage on him. 17. Yeah. On top of what he just had, and on top of what he had previously. 17. So, okay. Um, right, how are we going to do this? I mean, is he still alive? And alive ish? The only thing I can do is, because he's beloved, is that this ghost woman actually takes the hit instead of him for a couple of doom, and you kill her instead. And he is barely alive, but he's still alive. So his minions basically can throw themselves in between, like you were trying to do with Shira. Mm. All right. mm. Even though the sad minion already took an action. Because that's the one that attacked me. I'm pretty sure. Beloved, it says. It says. I mean, if it's a reaction, it probably should work. Heart. Any attack against him must go through one or more of them. If you use this special ability. Or must. Say, it doesn't say that they have to act. But to must. Them. Must. Okay. And there's no extra damage carrying over. Uh, mm. Look. For dramatic reasons, he's almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost dead. Because there's still something other people have to do. So, Derzo, you were the last of your group, right? Mm. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Christ, yeah. you started the round and then we worked up, right? Mm. So, Mortas, you're going to be attacked by the ghastly lady. And she's going to scream at you? No, she's going to claw you. I want to use a claw. How am I doing for that? Yeah. Oh, doom. Doom. Yeah, just one, one success. Paradise. You can parry. Of course. It. Why are they so bad, these? And you manage Your it. dice rolls are <laughs> terrible, Frank. Usually. And then I'd roll really, on, uh, really good on the And then the then two successes. The and... <laughs> <laughs> so you managed to do that. Okay. Guys, it's your turn. Go, go, go. Let's finish it. All right. Yeah, I'll, uh, to go to bed already. We are basically a few minutes away from it. Ah, oh, an eight and a six. So more at us. That's and good. then we attack the coast again. <laughs> oh, how much damage there? But I mean, it's <sighs> yeah. With the vicious more damage, we can apply it. Can, we can see what happens. Can I reroll can damage with momentum? momentum to reroll those yeah. other two? Yeah, okay. Come on, effects. Right click on it and then reroll. Yep. Ooh, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Apply damage. Six. 
That was exactly. Oof. Yeah, exactly he did what great. he needed. So the last of his wives goes down, which means he doesn't have a shield. Actually, there's one more up there, but ignore her. Um, he doesn't have a shield anymore. So who wants to act next? Well, it does. I do the finishing blow. Oh, I thought somebody it else would be the most effective. I yeah, I, I agree. Do. I think Durzo should go. Okay, go, Durzo, go for it. Oh, we in a new round already. Yeah, we're yeah. in a new round. Yeah, yeah, they yeah like, again. don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, now it's only absolutely 20. fitting. <laughs> absolutely fitting. Oh, one momentum. Oh five wow! Five successes. Is that all? Five successes. Seriously. Mm. He's going to do his thing again and his thing again. Yeah, and his yeah. thing again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's eight. You get enough momentum to get a So we are now up mm. at. Go on, tell me how many. It's eight plus four, twelve plus another four, sixteen. 16 on his head. Yeah, that doesn't matter that? because he's got armor all over. There you go. Hey. So describe Red it. Job, what guys. happens? Describe it. Go on. Uh, carrying on from the momentum of my previous attacks, I just keep whacking until he's just this pulpy mess on the floor. Doesn't matter if he's undead or just dead or half alive, it's just not moving anymore. And as you do that, there's a cloud of black suit almost shooting out of his head that you just left open and mm. dissipating and going somewhere, but not in any form or shape. You seem to have defeated the big, nasty, the big evil guy who was trying to take over the world again. Summoned by a stupid evil guy who thought he could control him. <laughs> so well done. I take well issue done. with that theme in there. Yeah. <laughs> you never know how it's going to carry on. You never Is know. Is there a do we, do coming? There might do we now pan, do we pan back to Tura? You can pan back to Tura, uh, who just walked away with a bloody dagger in her hand. She seems to just have basically cut the throat of Serothos. The Hell Harpy lies crushed on the floor in bits and is starting to, to rot very, very quickly. And the other, the remaining um, reanimated wife there, basically just crumpled to dust as soon as her master had gone. Is there anything on the floor left of the eye? Splinters. It's Just shattered. splinters. It's shattered. Okay. It's completely shattered. And you can see thing. that um, Tura just sort of has a ring. And she just pulls a finger off it and polishes it on her, on her clothes and puts it in her pocket. She got the treasure. She, the only bit of treasure she got it. Yeah. Um, so when we see this, and you see this, what what was that ring? It was the ring of Sarathos. I will study it. It's got magic to it. Mm. You'll be like the eye again. The studying of magic artifacts didn't turn out so well the last time. Maybe we should just <laughs> go straight to the destroying part. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have to bring it to Mount Doom. You know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and throw it into that, which is the next campaign. Um, right. So you're now standing in the ruins of Xosath's tomb, littered with corpses of lots of his guards and desiccated remains of an Asheronian sorcerer, who sort of crumbles in front of you. Um, you should now feel that you need to get out of Stygia in a hurry. It says here, Hakuf, bloodied and definitely having lost quite a few of his men comes to you and says we fended them up for off for now but they will come back i think they're the troops uh, of toth amon fine we'll send dozo against him it's not a problem <laughs> i put my hand on his shoulder and i thank him sincerely for all the work that mm. he and his he and his uh his fighters and his warriors have done we will be friends forever the sorcerers are dead that's what matters these, these sorcerers anyway but i think there's a bigger one coming toth amon you've heard of him if you know uh, conan you will have heard that name before yeah 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 two ra wants to get away as quickly as possible back mm -hmm. home ideally if you wanted to 
you can go back to Mavangale and bring the staff back and like the, get your, your gold yes. that you were storing there. And then you could track across the sea. Let me just go on back to the world map again. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to go back to Misantia to bring Tura back? I mean, first order of business would be looting the stitching camp, I guess. Uh, yes, you can loot a little bit, but you yeah. don't have a huge amount of time to go back to the camp. Just, just go to the to the tent, tent. of the tent. And yeah. grab everything that hasn't burned yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, going back to Vangela, give him a staff back, get the gold from the pirate captain. Yep. Yeah, and retire, I guess. <laughs> yes, yeah. it does say. As for material wealth, if you return to the Maconley village, which you have done, mm -hmm. um, you should have enough gold to last any p normal person a lifetime. But then there's always carousing. <laughs> you can mm -hmm. spend it and whittle it away. Uh, you could, yeah, basically what what um, Tura is offering you is that you could take over and manage on her behalf. Antaeus' mansion in Missantia. Mm. She wants to live out in the country. She had enough of all of this. But if you wanted to use that as a base, you could. But you would have to manage it. Sure. As a place of scholarship. And she might come and use the library sometimes. Um, you would also get some experience points if you wanted. It says Bizarre. Sure. any we'll player who sure. survived the events of this chapter and destroyed the Asheronian sorcerer should be awarded 500 above and beyond the normal possession rewards. Yay. So we're talking about 700, I reckon. Woohoo. So additionally, um, you would get an additional fortune point beyond above and beyond your current maximum. Ooh. Ooh. Which is like a blessing and advancement. You would also gain some renown. Um, those with so, reasonably high renown, three plus already, should gain one. The others can gain two levels of renown. So what did... Uh, sorry, repeat that? If your renown is already quite high. So if you're already on three or above it, on your renown, no, you no, only no. get one extra. Otherwise, you get two extra renown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm at three. You are now, in a way, even though you're not celebrating it hugely with other people, you have definitely uh, increased your fame around the world. Yay! Yay! So I, I, I see my I see myself in a uh, I see myself in a in a in a bar uh, or a brothel. Kind of like uh, the scene from Conan, where he's just got his head and and he's got you know his uh, his mug in front of him and just eyes half open. That's, uh, that's how I see uh, Shira celebrating. Celebrating. Chris is a simple woodsman, so he probably just heads back for a bit of peace and quiet in the woods, hunting deer, uh, just to try to get the sense of normality back before the next big adventure. Uh huh. How about Dezo? Is he going to become the new king of Stygia? No, but I have my eyes set out on a seaside villa previously oh. occupied by Baruch, which, you know, there's still yes. a debt to be settled there. So I guess that would be the next step. Yeah, settling accounts with Baruch. So, and also his house was pretty nice. I guess that's as good a spot as any to retire there. It was it's pretty nice, fun. wasn't it? Right by the sea. Yeah. I would be with Mortaz. Uh-huh. Like oh, normally. Like, retire. Try to just use the funds now that we have to research on a sorcery more than <laughs> the thing is yeah, like to be a next Mavangale. You have access to uh, Antaeus's library, which is amazing. Yeah. And you have lots of gold and now actually some connections as well that you can actually get extra books sent to you. So you are probably uh, like the Madem Speck, the maggot and the bacon, as we say in German. <laughs> yeah, having a great old time. You don't use that saying in English, do you? I don't think I've What's heard that now. What is that? You're like the maggot and the bacon. <laughs> Never heard of it before. <laughs> there you go, you learn something. The Madem Speck. 
just the fact that there's a saying about maggots and bacon turns me off of bacon for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing then. Because bacon I mean, is really bad maggots and eggs. Is that an is that an Austrian <laughs> saying as well? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. No, no this is scary. This <laughs> this is more scary than the entire uh, seventeen episodes. Oh, eighteen. Then, uh, fair, I have never 19. seen maggots in bacon, so I have seen that. Either. I've seen maggots. In okay, bread. good. I've seen that. Not nice either. Um, it was actually nineteenth sessions today. Nineteenth. You know, yeah. wow. If you consider, we didn't quite only play. Uh, this this campaign, but this campaign was 19 sessions. But we started mm. just over a year ago. Wow! So it yeah. took us a year to almost to... like a week from now. Yeah, mm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. In game time, this would have been uh, how many days? This adventure? Oh, we are probably talking a couple of months at least. Probably mm. like six months, maybe. It was oh. lots of fun. Yeah, I, hope I, so. I, I think, think just... that for me, it's the math. For me, it's just, I mean, Durzo and Creus are like, they're zoned in. And mm -hmm. I just find very heavy uh, games like uh, 2D20 System. I really enjoyed it, but I find it a bit of mental acrobatics. <laughs> because ordinarily, ordinarily, I'm playing like regular old uh, Vason and, yeah. you know, ne more narrative. So it's, uh, it's, it's a it nice challenge. Fun. It is a nice challenge. It's a nice challenge. You have somebody who's very good at working out his flowchart. <laughs> <laughs> from the first session, I remember Dez was saying, or oh, Julian saying, oh, do you mind if I just maximize my target number here and this? Yeah, is it going to be overpowered? And I said, nah, we'll deal with it somehow. We never mind. <laughs> 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 but I'm going to ask you, you twice if it's too much. <laughs> well, you, I, I that's didn't appreciate how quickly that would grow with the experience points you got, but the talents, yeah. all the talents you got, the repost, the second attack, the I get a free parry, the yeah, the next thing, the next thing. That that basically I completely underestimate that avalanche of advancement yeah. for you. I mean the, it, the thing was because we could only advance in skills we already had. Yeah. You specialize. It was more. there was just no alternative than to go like full on melee. Because we didn't have downtime or grousing at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you were totally the Conan, the, the <laughs> typical Conan character. You were. You were. I, I, I thought Creus mm -hmm. was absolutely fantastic as the Bowman. There is the Bosonian uh, Bowman who's Conan's companion for a while. What's yeah. his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah his of course, name. yeah. But yeah, that really fitted that sort of... And, and, and I thought that... Uh, uh, that Mortaz was fantastic. I just yeah, thought he was that... such a great utility character. <laughs> yeah, and I love that you like gave him the staff that made him like very good at fighting certain enemies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just balanced it out so nicely. Yeah, we needed to have yeah. that at the end. Yeah, where you basically bash these these ghastly. Yeah, yeah. That was I mean, the roles and, was and also pretty good. He's learned he's learned about twelve languages. <laughs> <laughs> And you were I instrumental in that. I mean, I'm hoping the lore and everything helped uh, you explain everything, like behind the yeah. scenes. Yeah, we yeah. needed that as well. And mm. Shira, yeah, you always were good for gory fight scenes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the tortured soul. I played her as the tortured yeah. soul. This is not actually the crunchiest 2D20 game, apparently. Which one Which is? Which one is? Fallout apparently is crunchy. Oh. I've been told. Is it really? I have played Fallout a little bit, but I never really got into the fighting. But the action How about points Star and... Trek? Star Trek is not as crunchy. Oh, okay. It's a bit messy, but it's, that's mainly down to the editing of the rule book. The rules, once you have them, is actually fine. They're fine. Mm. Um, but yeah, just getting your head around when you first read it. There's a second edition coming out now, which I think is basically a rewording <laughs> more than anything. And if you go for, for, the... for Fallout. No, for Star Trek. And if you go for the Klingon rulebook, which is essentially pretty much the same rules, but they've been edited, it's much easier to understand. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I haven't played. didn't do such a great job when it came to editing the rule books. It's I hope that they're getting better. Mess. Um, Dreams and Machines is a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit clearer, mm. and it's so much easier. You don't have mm. these D6, special D6. You just have D20s and that's it. Mm. Damage is fixed. 
by weapon. You don't have to roll constantly and constantly and re-roll. That's actually one thing I find a bit distracting. You have a damage roll. You say, yay, and then, oh, hang on, hang on, I've got to re-roll. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's roll again, let's roll again. Yeah. I wonder but, whether it works better face to face when you're at a table. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. So you can cover dice on re rolling. But I had a good old time because playing. Because rolling lots of dice is fun. Yeah. But if you have just a handful of. That's just fine. a handful of dice, yeah. yeah. Zero games have a nice handful of dice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, on Saturday, I'm hoping to run um, Coriolis the Great Dark. And two of Yay. the players are actually right there. We are, yay! Yeah. And not there. I don't know where <laughs> I, I'm. I'm looking at a different thing. <laughs> <There. laughs> Trying to do it on the screen, on the Zoom cameras is easy. But I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, you've got your character ready. I've got my character ready, and that will feel very different. That game, very different. Oh, oh, printed. <laughs> now, just one final word on this final scene. Um, the whole time you get told quite specifically what happens in the scenes. Hmm. And then at the end, it just says, well, you've got this one big sorcerer. You can actually make Toth Amon himself um, resurrecting this other big sorcerer. So you've got the, one of the greatest or the, the greatest sorcerer of the current age battling the greatest sorcerer, sorcerer of the Asheronian uh, age. And they are having a magic duel. Deal with it. <laughs> and the players <laughs> on the middle, deal with it. That's basically the scene. That's the it? End. That's it. Uh, and you've got these uh, few soldiers and you've got uh, these these wives. And if you need any extra soldiers, you have this battle raging behind. You can always bring extra soldiers on. Just deal with it. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, it's amazing what you made out of this campaign. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Big props I, to you I, to I make this look like I did a very good job at all with it. But what I did... So oh, I think you did a great job. What like, I did enjoy was the the, yeah, the artwork. <laughs> like before we uh, started this mm -hmm. entire game, like I just flipped through uh, the first chapter because I was intending on running it, and then I was like, "No way!" <laughs> <laughs> Let somebody else do it. <laughs> yeah, no, this is just just too. It, normally, you have to play it first, don't you, to understand how it comes together, and then it's a lot easier yeah. to run. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't at the beginning. Um, understand how it all would pan out at the end. I, I basically had a rough understanding of where it was going, what the stages were, and then I basically just said, okay, act at a time, act at a time, act at a time. And then sometimes it didn't quite join. But yeah, Kreis or Martin, I think you were talking about possibly running this? Yeah, it was my, it, I planned to run this at some point. Uh, my group that I play with, uh, they really love Conan. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've been asking me to run it. So now I've, I've played it. Uh, at least I've, I've at least I've experienced the play inside, which is fantastic, and now I can run it. Are you going to play it online or face to face? We tend to do Conan face to face. It's the one game we try to do face to face, but it's a real challenge to get people together regularly enough. So it may end up being online. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, mm. So. Right. I don't know what lies in the future for this group in particular. We've discussed a little bit whether we play a bit of Hexen or try something else or maybe try some Coriolis, but two of you are playing Coriolis already with me. Um, but I really enjoyed the the year we've been playing with each other. It was so wonderful. Yeah. I yeah. hope yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. that we will Thank be you able so to carry on somehow yeah. and some guys. Right, Mortaz? You'll, you'll, yeah. I feel like... Uh, there, wait, you went off the book at times, or did no. did you stick to the book like uh, no. the whole time? There was one bit where I really went off script, and that was when you were in the underworld and you had to get through this gate of the dead. And it was by far the best session we had. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Like different rooms yeah. behind each other. There was this library you had to go to and find something. And yeah, it's, it's that. I think it was one or two episodes. I think actually it was really at the core one episode. Where it says in the book, well, you go to the gate and there are these Anubites, you remember those jackal heads? Um, yeah. And they're barring the, the gate and the players have to get through them. You have to fight. And I thought, nah, that's boring. And so that was a little loop that I introduced. Everything else was pretty much based on the book. I really enjoyed the, the sea and that storm. That, that, to me, was one of the more memorable moments that and when the uh and when Tura was taken off 
uh, the first time. Mm -hmm. It was like, how are we going to find her? Like that shock. There were of... some scenes like that where I really thought, oh yes, they managed to create a scene that reminds me of Conan here. Yeah, mm. there were a few of those. And I think in Miss Anta, where we were going to Antaeus's place and we had to sneak up and sneak in and yeah. work our way through the rooms, yeah. that was a bit fun as well. Yeah. Yeah. There were lots of really good moments. I mean, the fact that a year later we can remember the beginning <laughs> and remember sneaking around the palace and, uh, and, and getting in and convincing the guards to get into the into the place and uh, sneaking downstairs and all that. That was really good fun, actually. Yeah, sneaking around mm. there. But actually, that reminds me of one question you asked me earlier. Why Tura? Yeah. Yeah, the, the why book, her? The book says that Serothos knows that there's a connection between Tura and you. So to get you to come to him, he needed her with him. So that yes. you would bring with you the gem. Sense. It sort of makes okay. sense. So, but so she was you're really valuing her. <laughs> but okay, so, the, the so thing there was sorry. A, no, go sorry, on. you go first. Well, I just thought that she was sinister from the very beginning. I just thought you can't have this innocent, you know, throughout the story. But she kept on coming back, and so I thought there's more to her than she's than that. She's going to be turncoat at the end. She's going to be the big evil. Julian. I mean, everybody else betrayed us, so, you know, why not her? Now, the issue I had with this character was we met her as in she was estranged with Antaeus, and suddenly she's like, no, she was living in the countryside, she was in the city, they haven't seen each other for whatever because he's so amount of time. She comes back after, like she wasn't present when we had this whole amulet mm. epiphany, or what you might call it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and but she, for whatever reason, she then got reconnected to the amulet after the fact. Um, I mean, I this, think... this just doesn't, didn't make sense for me in the beginning. But I the think... real thing I had with her was she didn't do anything besides be in the way. <laughs> she she is the damsel in distress, but she yeah, actually but when she you wasn't, had, had that like, encounter in the library. Reason, she was yeah. there, right there, right then. So when you first opened the chest with him with the amulet, basically, and somebody else was trying to come and steal it, um, basically she had in that moment the amulet from you because it was hers, rightfully. So she was she basically present when you first touched the amulet yourself. Yeah, but she wasn't like we, all five of us back then, like with Toby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got sucked into the dream world. Like everyone that was affected by the amulet when we first opened it, yes, mm -hmm. but she wasn't there, hmm. wasn't she? No, I she wasn't. That episode. Uh, just when we left the room and the the this we were arrested, she then stepped in and stopped us from being. Yes, arrested. yeah, but the first visit to the dream world—that's what I think you understand. I would yeah. need to check that. I can't remember. I remember that I I found the entrance through a painting, right? Yeah, exactly. And and so we went in, and I think it was Mortez, or was it me? One of us, one of the two of us. No, Mortez um, opened it first. Yeah. I think, yeah. 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 But I don't think she was with us. I thought that she came... I thought that she, she came, came in the with the guards, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But that was basically the moment. You had just found it, and then she came in, and then she said, this is mine, give it to me, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was saying, no, it's not mine. Uh, I don't have it. And I gave it and I passed it. I passed it off to Chris. <laughs> Things you remember. Oh, when we passed it on to each other. Yeah. yeah, we were... yeah. <laughs> right. Hot potato. And yeah, hot potato. I don't and he have was it, like, don't honestly. fool with me. Don't, don't tell lies. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, as I said, for being so patient. And um, yeah, and I ideally would really like to put all the artwork that I generated for this together into mm. a picture book, but I'm not sure when I'm going to have the time at this vision of making a little retelling of the story as a video or slideshow sort of thing, but uh, yeah. I don't have enough time on that. You can, yeah. if you like. Yeah, because you put so much effort into the art. Yeah, yeah the in, was, uh, yeah. And, and for anybody who does like criticize the AI art and stuff, to get it 
to being what you envision takes so much time and so many uh, different attempts. Iterations. I'm sure that, yeah, I'm sure that it took you some time to get some of those scenes. It took a while. Yeah, sometimes yeah. would actually might be in my lunch break and just say, oh, let's just regenerate this image on the next day. Oh, let's let's tweak it here, let's tweak it there. But um, Maybe? I have the one that we have in the background here on the stream right now. I really love that. I think that's really mm. cool. What yeah. do we have in the background? On the stream, you have to watch. You don't, you're not on Twitch. Yeah, I am, but it's in the background, so I see you guys. Behind <sighs> us. I think you should do a I think you should do a video on how on how to on how to uh use Midjourney the best oh, for for this. Yes, but the the I thought that the images that you provided really transported us yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. to the place. Oh, yeah. Here's the yeah. image I'm talking about. Mm. Especially yeah. because they were so coherent, like it was always the same art style, I'd say. Yeah. So yeah. it essentially it looked like it was like made for this adventure. It wasn't just some, you know, yeah. something here and something there, and I pulled this from Google and this from Discord and blah blah blah. But it was yeah. just yeah. all handcrafted or PC crafted in this case. Journey crafted. This One of the yeah. things, if you know that um a lot of the Conan art is made by somebody called Frank Frazetta. Yeah. Mm. The guy who hates clothing. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. hates clothing. <laughs> and if you put the style tag in, style Frank Frazetta, you have to yeah. sometimes filter a little bit, yeah? Um, <laughs> to make the, it stream friendly. <laughs> the, yeah. Actually, mid-journey is not bad for that. Um, but, no, it's not. Um, that actually worked really well. So yeah. most of the time I had the, the basic style was good, it was okay. But for example, the map I'm just showing on this uh, stream, this little courtyard map, yeah, that's mid journey. Mm. Mm. Oh, the the one where you had the big fight, the ritual one. Yeah, that's mid journey. Because mm. I only thought about it a couple of months ago, saying, why not actually ask Miss Mid Journey to make a VTT map? Oh, oh, that's awesome! Oh, I so never thought about that. I just basically and said, you edit the effects the later effects, on. The it, effect is foundry. Yeah, I can just okay. switch the, yeah. the clouds off here. Mm. Um. And you can actually put flickering lights on it, and I've sometimes done that, but this one I haven't. Um, but basically, just say create a VTT map, top down Egyptian temple, something like that, pillars, da da da. Three, four iterations later, you've got something like that. And I love, wow. for example, Dungeon Alchemist. But considering how mm. long it takes to actually make a nice, you know, Antaeus's mansion, I made that in Dungeon Alchemist. That was beautiful, but you had said that it had taken you quite some uh, time. Yeah, this, this really doesn't. <laughs> Really wasn't good. there what wasn't there once where we really messed up your plans and you would put a lot of effort into something I think and we avoided it? Yeah, you went to the wrong room or something. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. That's all part yeah. of running these games, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a labor of love, as they say. Yeah. And well, it was lots of fun. Good. So yeah. um looking ahead, the as I said, the Hexen one, I have translated the beginning of the quick start. I put it in our Discord. And the, that basically has the prologues, prologues for single uh, solo play. And I've done one of them. I'll probably do the other three at some point as well. And, and, I, and I did, to... and I did provide the sixty-six pages of the book translated. Yes, of the core player's book, yes. and that will give you the background, and it will also give you uh, the core rules and. I'm just now uh, getting back to it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The, the solo play is basic. It's very basic. But at least it gives you the, the um, basic understanding of how there's a test rolled and stuff like that. And mm. then it leads the four characters then you know, together to say, okay, mm. let's have one adventure together. So if you're up for that, you know where to, to find it on Discord. Um, and then maybe we can carry on sometime in a yeah. few weeks' time. Yeah. Anyway, we'll discuss it offline. So, for now, for those people who are still watching, I don't think anybody's watching live right now. If you, if you are, say hi in the chat. But don't think you are. Um, thank you very much for the lasting with us, even if you watch it on YouTube later. And we had about 40, 50 people who watched all the episodes, mm. so that's pretty good. Unless it was mm. 40 times uh, Derzo. <laughs> <laughs> to sort of refine this. I didn't make 40 accounts, no. <laughs> no? Okay. 
Um, it was good fun to run it. I would actually not mind returning to the world mm. uh, of Conan, but I think I would proper, yeah, probably, I think probably, would not go for this rule system again. Personally. Mm. Yeah, that was just too, yeah, too swing. But there are other rule systems available. <laughs> for example, Savage World. Anyway, good night, everybody. And I'm going to switch off the, the um, stream. Do you want to have an in-character goodbye or not? Just just normal goodbye. Normal oh, goodbye. Good. Thank you for Peter staying with us. Goodbye, then. So, the curtain closes.